Sopranos episode where they're on like a way. vacation or something. Yeah, hey, uh, yeah. Dutch is on this. Come to me Sopranos, on this like, episode. Dutch, right? you look like you're out of a Sopranos beach episode. Hey, yo, hey, I'm yeah, building sandcastles here. <laughs> yeah, was it fucking Don Corleone's son's birthday or? <laughs> my niece. I gotta put my respect. I'm sure, you're all wondering for the why. Oh, sorry, Don Corleone's daughter's today. birthday. Hey. Every, every school hey. child hey. in the hey. neighborhood hey. is his, is his niece or his wedding. nephew. <laughs> On the day of my niece's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, hey guys. A little late because Hi. I don't know. I had to go to a birthday. My, my parents were getting lit, and I was like, "Dude, I don't kind of gotta go home." <laughs> you, you can't rush the mafia, yeah, man. Parents. <laughs> true. Can't rush the mafia. That's what it is. That's how you end up sleeping with the fishes, bro. <clears throat> so is this why you actually canceled D and D yesterday, Dutch? Did you have some some actual secret? Mafia yeah, I needed to. I needed to. You know. I needed to. Yeah, a couple loose ends to tie up. I had to deliver mm -hmm. a horse's head into someone's bed. You know. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The usual. Um, my. Niece does have horses, early enough, so I could have done that. Like, oh, you could have. In reality, could have. Yeah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh. Hey! Why is that? You ran fucking tell on me. You Why ran on me. It's dripping. Don't head. worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. I'd have been. Hey, forget about no, it. Forget forget about it. it. Uh, no, hey, hello. <laughs> We're here to play D&D. We're a little, little late. Um, but uh, we're never. here. Soko isn't here. Oh, my he fucking camera. here uh, unexpectedly. Wow, wow, wow. But, uh, you know, we'll be all right. It's okay, I'll take a spot. There you go. There we go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, before we get going, any announcements or anything? Uh, I was like, we have, a, we have a resident American now, regardless, because Brian, yeah. Yeah. we have our we stable American, so no matter what. <laughs> nah, because Brian, they're not Mormon, right? So. True. <laughs> well, why would I ever be? Oh, I so go. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not Mormon, I just got raised Mormon. But okay. in, in the no, words no, of Soko, important. I'm sure Briar just doesn't see the appeal, you know? True. <laughs> I don't see the appeal. Of Soko? No. The thing is, <laughs> no. No. Oh, you have a central back system. Let's, um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get fucking, let's get into it. Um, oh, let's get what now? Let's get fucking. Announce let's, let's get, get fucking. Announcements, yeah, well, please. Um, um, take it away. The... We had another Call of the Nether Deep episode yesterday. Dutch wasn't able to make it, but we had a good time. Uh, it will make it to YouTube soon. Uh, probably by, like, m Tuesday. It'll be up on my YouTube. And uh, the next date, uh, we're not sure when the next session will be, because the next few Saturdays, we have just life being difficult as per usual. So it's probably going to be an off day, like maybe a, a Friday or a thursday or something we'll figure it out but as the best place to find out is like just twitter discord uh the usual places will tell you when we know the next session date yeah. i know i don't know exactly when i i'll be able to because now that i'm here with family and friends close by i'm a little more like i, I can't really commit to things as much as i could when i'm just like yeah. out on my own but um yeah we'll be all right figure it out yeah and maybe we just have to wait something shitty like a month to get a saturday yeah, and then we know sucks. everyone's good but yeah we'll figure it out and, and i think then the witchlight campaign briar runs and wednesday. i play in is back on wednesday yeah uh for the next big heading over to tither yeah should be fun oh yeah and we're newly leveled up so i'm sure to cause chaos <laughs> excellent fuck yeah level um, four level dutch four. you want to uh maybe preface uh the thing you were talking about before stream for or wait till it's for sure for sure before we make that an announcement about um upgrades to oh, now nah, we'll, 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 we'll get to it first we'll wait. upgrades people upgrade nah, it's just, nothing big it's just i want to now that we have some budget because we've had some twitch payouts over the last like month or three or four a couple came Thanks, in guys. i just want to Get everybody a copy of Tail Spires so that they can control their own boys. I don't have to worry about screen sharing it in Discord and shit. It just makes it easier. Oh, yeah. All of us. Our battle maps will get an upgrade in that the players will be able to yeah, control their minis. That way so I combat have to can be like, more smooth. You know, like, pick up one of your tokens. Where do you want to go? There? No, no, no. There. And you can just move yourselves and it just makes it. Yeah, we can just be like easier. boop, boop, yeah. boop. Wait. It's be great. What's happening? Dutch uh, is going to use the budget that we have to buy us all Tail Spire. That's very smart. 
That's very smart. Good job. <laughs> good way. Good way to spend that was our budget. So time. condescending. That really was yeah. very condescending. Wow. Good job. Oh, you, God. God. you you did such a good job, buddy. That's such a good idea. Buddy. Let's put it, it on the fridge. It was a good DM. Show for the champion, by the way. It's a good DM. It was a good DM. So for those who have contributed, we wave like dice. We stuff. like wave dice in front of him, like. It's a good DM. <laughs> Yeah, so Focus those on who the contribute via, via subs or via bits or gift subs, that's the next thing that we're going to be using that money for. <laughs> so just so to let you guys know the kind of things that if you support the channel where it goes. Um, other things that we might use, like once we use what we have for copies of Tailspire, uh, we might get updated character art uh, down the line. Uh, again, long term, like no timeline set on it, but like a big dream goal will be some sort of either musical or video intro for Dungeon Select at some point. Um, but that's no set plans for that, because we need to find uh, someone to create that, that we like their style, the budget fits, and that'll take a lot more research. Can we, just, can we just rewind a little bit? Why did I just get, like, toddled like I'm five years old? Like, what the fuck is I don't know! I wasn't taking part in that! What the fuck is that? Is this fucking funny? What the, what the fuck, dude? Because we just must get combat and uh, it's funny. <laughs> Okay, man. Oh god, I hate all of you, especially. Dude. So Dutch. What's up, man? Before you what, what the fuck? <laughs> What's up, get, uh, get how, how much takeout have I got to buy you to not make this a TPK? <laughs> seven. Uh, seven. 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 No bullshit, bro. You go. Oh, you want a little capsalon? You want a little? You want a little capsalon? Look at the <laughs> Why are you doming him? What I'm not doming really him. Weird. What? No, he's domesticated, like Belle. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are we so unhinged today? Uh, a little inject fever. What's going on? Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I feel How like I'm having a breakdown. Dude. Oh, no, I'm, like, I'm like six beers deep, bro. You can't do this to me right now. I'm gonna fuck over. <laughs> <laughs> this time? Excellent. Happy birthday! Okay? He's on, okay. he's on the daddy sodas. I had some daddy sodas. I'm about to beat the fuck out of someone. Um, Duke. Anyway, I hope it's Duke. Um... <laughs> what? Well, again? <laughs> like, I, I don't I didn't do anything. <laughs> All I have to say. All right. Anyone else have anything that they want to say or share with the class before I lose? I graduated. Shit? That's oh, true. Um, Bell graduated, guy. guys. Well done, Bell. So proud of you, Bell. You so good good you. job, Bell. So you did so good. <laughs> Thank you! He's now officially a qualified dumbass. Fuck yeah. Love to see it. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Um, We're also great. educated here. Are yeah. We? we are also really Not higher me. educated. Yeah, yeah Koiba. <laughs> Koiba's done so much. Koiba's, I mean, Koiba reads books for fun, so... That's true. That yeah, what a smart. fucking nerd. I pretend to read books. <laughs> the Bell's <laughs> Oh man! Get okay, your snacks out, Omar. Ned. Uh, Audio books don't count. Any snacks? Oh, I got, I got some snacks. Okay, boys. Oh, oh, here we go. oh, it's a Tesco's bag. This could be mm -mm. hit or miss. No, it's from Aldi. No, it's from. Let's Why is it in a Tesco's bag? You can get it. I mean, I just got some. I got little blob bags of nibbly nobblies because they're fucking fire. Huh? That, that, that is a real. Are they, are they, are they real off brand Nick sauce? Yeah, oh, they're, they're saucy. Saucy nibbly nubbly. Oh, oh, please tell me you're writing on the same page as me so right I now. Like, why do your snacks sound like they're named for children? <laughs> because it's because they are. Not, I don't know about made for children. <laughs> and then some me, it sounds like big cut ridge. I got some crisps. I got crispies today because I was hungry. I don't know. Got crisps. Good job, man. I'm proud of you. Thanks, bro. You went to oh, Aldi and all you bought was crisps. No, I bought my Sorry. food shop, but then whilst I was there, I was like, I should probably get some snacks. <laughs> I mean... Fuck me. Uh, Sorry, dude, let me get the I'm chicken the... and, like, seasoning I got for my fucking dinners, shall I? Dude. Consistently a letdown. Quite the kind of guy that finds salt spicy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Real talk? Real talk, though? That's... That is James's mom. Literally, you put like oh, one sprinkle no. of cracked black pepper, and she's like, oh, oh, and she's like dying. And it's oh, I like spicy pepper. <laughs> Has anyone else seen that Teen Titans episode where they no. eat salted potatoes? It's saving that information for the for the That's wedding, so bad. I can mess with it. Oh, true. You gonna mess with James's mom and not seduce her? Oh it's no no funny. no! 
anyone who will be coming to the wedding, real talk, all drunk, drunk Brenda's a good time. It's just so funny. Bring up Brenda. <laughs> so funny. Yo, let's get let's get James's oh, mom. I'm drunk. gonna roll up to that wedding. Ooh, you hey, Brenda, long time no see. Just to confuse the fuck out of her. Just like, who the fuck is this guy? No, wait till Brenda. Wait till, till she started drinking, then do it, and then Brenda. she'll be like, "Oh, I know this person." You pull up looking like that. And say that without her knowing you, she's gonna think she's on the list. Like, <laughs> no, she's gonna think that she's got. She's gonna be wondering who she owes money to. Right. Hey, Brenda, how's it going? Huh? It's been a while. Huh? Listen, you got you got three weeks. I know you, but you don't know me. No matter you, do, you don't know me, but you know my boss. This wedding sure looks real pricey. God, oh my god. Dude, I'm just wearing a polo nice when I did my hair, and that, and suddenly I'm in the mafia. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, but like, like it, it, you know, it looks a, it's a little low key beach episode, <laughs> Sopranos. Okay, like, <laughs> where's, where's the gabagool? Gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, fuck, now that you're talking, you want to share some dreams, dude? Or uh... dude, I. You know what? I got a dream journal. I still haven't written. I've written one dream in it, and you've all heard oh it. You know, I'm, I'm not keeping great yeah, track. I'm sleeping weird. Together. I had a job interview. Pog. So that was cool. How'd it go? So we'll see how that goes. It went pretty good, but I'll hear back Thursday probably. Nice. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Then in that case, let me uh. Just about to grab some sort of a bad mouthing yeah, <laughs> dude. Be the third one today, Jake. Be the third one today. Um, <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> I'm fucking Jake is gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna. I got roped into another D and D campaign, by the way, with Para. Oh, yeah. yes. Never uh, enough D and D. Well, it's not really a campaign. It's like a series of one shots because a campaign yeah. is too too hard to commit to. But um, I'm I'm excited. It's like like a little bloodborne-y and all that. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. <clears throat> shh, Jake. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. <laughs> just, just let me pretend like I wasn't excited so that I can be like, God, another one, dude. God, more D&D, &D, yo. Yeah. Oh, God, more D&D, &D, bro. That's the oh. worst. I'm drowning in D&D. &D. <laughs> what a way to go, like, man. I would fun, love guys. that. This game sucks, dude. Why are we here? No, um... I hate it. Fuck. All right. Clearly. Yeah, let, uh, let me collect myself. <laughs> okay. uh, last we left off. We were all, about to die. Uh, that's that's now. That wasn't last we left off. That's now. That's current time. Um, you came back from um, the the winery uh, and and got your reward in the in the shape of the sunblade, which is basically just D and D's version of a lightsaber. Uh, I think Davian has it in their possession now, um, and it looks cool. It is cool. It acts like both a short sword and a long sword. It's dope as fuck. Hurts undead. Giga pog. Um, you then were told some more information, or you found out, Aranya found out some more information about uh, the Wachter family in town. And once the, they were torturing uh, the uh, coffin maker that you that, that, that you um, caught doing some, some gnarly shit, trying to find a way for uh, vampires to be able to enter the town and wreak havoc. That um, motherfucker. And long story short is the kind of the narrative that's kind of been fed to the people of Valaki was always Burgomaster is a Strahd fanatic. The Wachter family is like outspoken against Strahd. But now it turns out that that might just have been a lie and just them trying to control a narrative so that they can do all of their Strahd related stuff without people suspecting them. Um... That seems to kind of be the the, 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 the the vibe everyone is getting. And uh, people, you know, the, the people are worried that something might still happen during the event, the Festival of the Blazing Sun, which is uh, due tomorrow, I think, yes, uh, in, in one long rest's time. Uh, but you're unsure of what really to do uh, about it just now. People are uh, making... Um, Make, making plans, and we'll probably discuss them with you uh, when you get back. But right now, you are all at uh, the Ruins of Birez, which is the location where you would be able to find the Tome of Strahd. Uh, once you got there, another uh, ally in the form of, um, you know, that, that, that group of... of, of um, the secret society, I guess, that you learned exists and, and have done some work with 
during your time in Barovia. Uh, she informed you of the fate of the town. Uh, scarecrows been planted that act as uh, like sentries almost, and that the town is under control of uh, a hag flying around in a carved out enchanted hill giant's skull uh, called Baba Lisaga. Um, you kind of skirted around the edge of town to avoid going in town properly, avoiding some scarecrows on the way, and <laughs> found, bless you, found you. the statue under which you found the Tome of Strahd, which Jax now has in his possession. But while doing that, um, some ruckus caused back at uh, one of the houses, the mansion of the old burgomaster of this place, caused Baba Yaga to go look at, or Baba Yaga, Baba Lisaga to go looking, and uh, found you one. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. <laughs> Baba, she lives in Feywild, you know, different, different, different Baba. <laughs> um, and caught you at the statue and landed this her bitch. giant skull-like mount, I guess. And uh, I think... Wait, gonna... wait, is that what that is on the map, or is that just happens to also look like a skull? No, that's, yeah, that's her, uh, <laughs> that's, that's her, that's her mount. Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at her. Yeah, Whoa. Dude. Look at her up there. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll get to the battle map scene and uh, we'll just immediately get into rolling initiative, I think. Ah! Uh, remind you, Brian, you have advantage on initiative. Yeah, because of the oh. blessing thing. So right now, for the lay of the land, um, the statue is right about so here. Sad. She parked her shit here. So mm -hmm. Jackson Brooks, you were at the statue. If my memory serves me right, the rest of you all kind of like came like after the fact. So this is kind of where you are are all located. Dagon is hitchhiking with Davian. Davian, yes, right. yes, cool. Because um... Davian has sword, and I, I can fucking... make him swing sword twice. True. You <laughs> cannot make this shit up. Jax has cursed me. Nice, dude. I did my Damn. usual single-digit initiative. We're here for it. Very good. I did my usual rolled with advantage and two low numbers. That have I rolled for two characters. At least we're consistent. We're nothing if not I rolled, I rolled for two I rolled pretty good for once. And we're oh going last. Oh my god, uh, oh my god no, Ethan. Ethan. That's pretty yeah. fucked up. Well, at least they're out, the, they're out of the way now, bro. They're out of the way. Get you all in there real quick. I don't yet um, pretty good. Uh, initiative 20 or, pl or more, please. 25. 25? 23. 23. Gotta have the battle lighting. 15 to 20. Hey. Bom, bom, 10 bom, to 15. Bom, 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 10. Ooh. Bom, 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 no one else 10 to 15? Oh god. 5 to 10? 9. 9 for Daigon? Yes. 8 for Lazarus? Uh huh. What are Brax oh Brax and Jukes? Uh, Jackson Brooks roll? <laughs> so <laughs> Brooks, Brooks technically has a five. Okay. However, it's a natural one. Got it. However, he's not going last because Jack's also got a natural one for a total of minus oh, one. Oh, uh, my I rolled God. two characters in both fucking that one. I don't have my physical dice here, so let me roll for her real quick. Bye bye. Five plus nothing. Uh, so she happens to be <laughs> in the right spot. Okay, there you go. Uh, Perfect. Beautiful. We got so lucky. <laughs> All right, so. All right, I'll see you guys uh, in 30 minutes. With that, Aranya, you're up first. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? What is my knowledge of these kinds of creatures? Are they undead? Uh, no, you'll you'll know uh, that Babali Saga is basically just like grandmother hag, which uh, makes okay. her fake. A fey bitch. Yes. We got it. <laughs> um, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, and she is within, I assume, about 80-ish feet. Hopefully. Let's find out. Or at least less than 320 feet. <laughs> She's about 15 tiles away, so that is 50... 75? 75. Excellent. I am going to just shoot her with my short bow. Because okay. I don't want to get closer to that bitch. Yeah, one time. <laughs> Great first roll, everyone. That's an 11. <laughs> that misses. So you, you take aim with your bow and, and, and arrow fires out and it just flies over and hits a nearby tree. Just... Gross. Um, 
bonus action mm-hmm. to hide, por favor. Uh, yeah, I guess she could. Like, this is not here, her hut. I made this battle map thinking you would fire at the hut, so just imagine the mm. hut's not there. Um, Alright, is there like a tree? Yeah, there's like a little tree here and a tree there. You could definitely, like, if you want to make some distance, you can definitely get behind some cover. How about the one that's, like, more straight in front of? Can I get to there? That's too far, huh? Uh, what's your movement speed? Um, 30. Uh, yeah, you just... It's okay, then far. yeah, I'll go for that further one, I guess, and hide behind there. Just here. Let's hope my stealth check is better than my attack roll was. Basically be able to kind of get here and just hope she doesn't see there's some reads in the way, too, and... You know. Make a stealth check. <laughs> Eleven. Why is that my number today? No, it, it's, it's, it's a thing. Luna, what have you done? What have you done? All right. <laughs> Anything else you would like to do? Nope. <laughs> That's all I got. Davian. Um. How? Hmm. Is there going to be some, like, oh, she's on high ground, so if I get too close, she's going to have, like, some kind of cover. Um, it's going to impose, get up her AC or some shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Does she look like she has any intention of coming down anytime soon? <laughs> Make an insight check? Okay, sure. Uh, 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 16? <laughs> uh, you can see that she has landed, which is a good sign. Um, mm. and it's hard for you to really understand what she's gonna do. You know that she's a hag, so she'll probably do some spellcasty shit. Um, I wonder if there's anything you can do about that. You don't think there's any intention of hopping off of her skull just yet. Okay. It seems pretty she comfortable. She likes it too much. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. For the time being, can I bonus action Hunter's Mark her? Uh, and then I will fire both my hand crossbows with disadvantage. Uh, yeah. because she's just beyond the, the range. Good. Uh, so the first one oh God. Uh, is a 14 to hit. Just misses. And the second good one is know. a nat one. Amazing. Ooh. Damn. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it feels pretty bad. With that, I'll just fucking <laughs> holster one of the crossbows. And. How far is it from me to the base of the skull? Uh, 50, 60, 65 feet. 65 feet. Hmm. Oh, let me double check something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I th- okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, I can run 35. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm just going to run as close as I can get. And Onu can run 40. So... 35 is... Seven, so. Yeah. And I guess Ono will just run five feet ahead of me. Uh, there, yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Guess. I gotta. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna cast Phantasmal Killer. She needs to make a Wisdom Ooh. saving throw. Ooh, spicy. I'm just gonna roll the fucking dice in Dalespire because mm. I don't have my dice with me, so fuck it. That works. 14, 14 plus. It's a wisdom save, you said? Yeah. 21. 
Damn. Uh, how about Let's... silvery bobs? Oh, okay. Oh. Jax is going to silvery bobs that. All right. Oh, Are you okay. close enough? That makes it oh, nine. Ooh, is he close enough? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Is he close enough? It's Please tell me feet. yes. It's 60 feet. Yeah. Jack's at statue. Mm -hmm. Like that, she basically yes. right next to Oh, cool, cool. Oh, thank okay. fuck. So yeah, that makes it a nine, so she fails. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, she is, uh, frightened. Um. Of you. She's Faye. She's gonna be immune to fright, and I'm gonna guess. Um, usually. Doesn't say uh, she uh, is. Yeah. Holy fucking Doesn't shit. Doesn't say she is. And she takes uh, 4d10 psychic damage. Immune to psychic damage. Like, <laughs> 12. You rolled 12 and 4d10? No. Oh. Okay. That no. would have sucked. Wait. No, yeah, I, I did. Rolled 48, oh, no. No, 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 no. No, I did. Yeah, I did. That's you made me second guess myself, but I did. Unlucky. That's well, dog shit, great. bro. That's, so that's fucking dog water, bro. That's fucking dog yeah. water. Everybody's did a spell right. on you. So she looks at you, and you can see her eyes kind of, like, widen, and, and tries not to really show a physical reaction, but just look a little uncomfortable while looking at you. She can see an world. illusory manifestation of uh, her deepest fears that are only visible to her, which is why she's frightened. Okay. Turning around Dutch's question on him. Look at the, the plot twist. I don't know what Baba Saga fears, <laughs> but she's fucking scared to death. Tomato soup. It's a good thing about Rod. only being visible to her. I don't have to describe anything to anyone because y'all don't see it, so. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Anything else? Um, actually, Matt Mercer would have described it. Yeah, well, I'm not Matt Mercer, mate. Go fucking play d &E with him then. <laughs> You're fucked. Bet you can't. All right. Bitch. All right, don't make me sleep with the fishes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to do, Cass? Uh, no, that's it. All righty. Daigon. Inhabiting hey. uh, Davian. Yes. Can you just repoint out Davian on the map for me? Right here. Oh, okay. The green. His green cloak be blending in. He do okay. be blending in a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, we're not close enough to do any swordy things, and he attacked with the crossbow. But she mm -hmm. might get closer. So do I enchant the sword? Do I enchant the bolts? We don't know where she's going. I don't know. I'll ask a question for you, Dutch DM rule, because it says other things I can do while in the host mm -hmm. are take the dodge action. But does that mean like I'm helping? So like I can maybe like make him evade. Like is it take the dodge for me and my host? Because the PDF wording is vague. I would assume so, so because you only take damage when he takes damage. He, yeah. So therefore, I would say if you can do the dodge action, that makes Daphne yeah. dodge, dodge action. Yeah. Because for now, I think I might just do that because I don't know what she's going to do. And because basically, awesome. by the way I'm flavoring it in my head, it's like he's about to get hit and I move his body out of the way. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Like, what's happening? So yeah, yeah. I will cool. take the dodge action for Davian. Okay. Um, and just uh free action slash bonus action i guess devin just hears um in his head um i guess i just just like a re ready when you are kind of thing and like i'm just i'm i'm eager to see what we can do so yeah an eye just out. sitting there like yeah. In his body. I'm basically yeah, doing this inside now. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, really, I'm going. I'm in. It, yeah, I, I just. <laughs> with the way that DD tones, like, elapse, I just imagine, like, Davian runs in and he, like, fires off his crossbow and then just inadvertently matrix dodges some shit that comes at him. <laughs> Seems very yeah. cool. Yeah. So. yeah. And I will also, because I have reactions in case shit happens. So, yeah, oh, that's my turn. It's just taking the dodge action on okay. behalf of both of us. Okay. Laszlo. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> uh, I will, uh, as an action, put up my dome. Don't do that in public, please. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah. Uh, are you going to move anywhere? So I'll just not put it up until... <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. I'll be honest. Hold on. What's the radius again? 30 foot radius. So it covers 60 total. Yeah. Across. Six. And then I should be able to like be like a... Hey, we mark her, and then I should be able to just move it around. I think you do have to grab from the center to move it around. Oh, yeah, that's him. him off. Uh, or do you have to grab from the outside? Edit. Nope. I need to grab this. There we go. Okay, yeah. Figured it out. Yeah. While you're editing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you were here. 
Just let me know uh, yeah. if, you, if you are moving. Yeah, in, uh... I will. I will. Uh, I will bonus action uh, spiritual weapon. Hang on, how far away is she? She's like 60 feet away from me, right? Well, can I do both of these? I fucking can. Look at that. Um, let's say there. So let's say 13 tiles. So that would be... 65. 65 feet. Oh, fuck. Well, anyway, actually, I will move up because I will want to get uh, Brooks and Jax in the bubble. Okay, so that would imply... Like, if you move... Jux and Brax. Jukes and Brax. <laughs> Jukes and Brax. Jukes and Brax. Hell yeah, Puff. So you would have to move. I mean, that, that works. Where it is right now works. There, and that was 7,000 move, uh, 6,000 movements for you, so that's that's 30 feet of movement right there. That's uh, 30 Well, then that's fine, and then I'll uh, cast Spiritual Weapon. You okay, uh, you quickly uh, get a fucking. fucking... Um... Oh, spiritual Weapon in the same turn is so sick. Wild. There you go. You're gonna move that yep. next to her, I'm assuming? Yeah, next to her, and it's gonna swing! Swing. Uh, Is that next to her? Or 16 to hit? 16 hits! Let's fucking go. Please. Oh, fucking. What are these boys? Five, five. Is that 10 points of force damage? 10 points of force damage? Alrighty. That's she right. kind of like snaps out of her. Um, Oh, doing damage her, like, breaks like fearful force. vision and, and looks at the spiritual weapon. Just kind of, um, and she's kind of uh, as I a forgore. reaction. I forgore. Well, I don't know if that knocks her out of the, the fear, but I'm just saying oh, like, she kind okay. of like reacts oh, to that. Uh, and as a reaction, she's going to summon oh, oh, no. three swarms of insects. Ew! Uh-uh. This. This is we'll mark them like this. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, one swarm of insects here. One swarm of insects on you. Yeah. And one swarm of insects on. Uh, yeah, probably guess. What Sorry. the fuck, dude? <laughs> Me and Davian escaped um, for now. <laughs> and those swarms of insects are all going to fight. So this swarm is gonna bite Brooks. No, they're not. For a natural eighteen, three to twenty-one to hit. Oh Wait, yeah, I when I'm not question. raging, oh, put it in me. Okay. You have a question? Yeah. I should, does this happen after my turn ended? No, this is a reaction. It's like you hit her. This is her reaction. I'm like. Bleh. I hate okay. that. That's cringe. Mm, don't don't get my temp HP. Cringe. Ah, but oh, I look will. at that little handful uh, of people. Wow. 11 points of piercing damage. Brooks. Oh, Pog, I'm not yep. raging. Big Pog. Uh, Yo, say it again. Actually, cry more. Cry I'm more, not please. raging. Cry more, please. Please uh, cry more. Eight to hit a Lazarus. Right, you're going to have And <laughs> natural 20 on Kess. And she would have this advantage, but this is technically the, the the insects like rolling to hit, so that doesn't happen. So natural twenty on the Kess. What the fuck, well, dude? I'm. Uh, so four, eight, twelve. That's sixteen plus ten. So you take twenty six points of piercing damage, Kess. God damn. I hate it here. I... Uh, and now your turn continues, Elasrin. That was her reaction. Just wait till it's actually her turn. That's my turn is over, so I get. Uh, what fucking level are we? Level 8? Level 7? Where are we? Level 8? I get 10, 10 HP. Fucker? I was trying it's to find it, I can't remember where it was. <laughs> LOL! Imagine not being the right level. <laughs> fucking true. Fucking. Imagine being, you know, penalized for dying. Imagine. LOL! <laughs> get fucked, loser! I mean, at least you're still playing your character, Laura, right? Yeah! Uh, that's my turn. I gain 10, 10 HP. Okay. It's now a bubbly saga's turn. Uh, oh, what? what? I'm scared. She has some big dick shit. Of course she does. What does that spell do? I see a lot of spell names. So I have no idea what they do. I'm just uh, do some research real quick, guys. Man, if only he knew, had a whole week to do this. If only Dutch <laughs> knew off by heart what power word. Yo, kill guess or... he's getting targeted by these spells now. Guess he's about crazy. to get murdered so I mean, hard. What? It's going to be like power word. Kill or, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, she has yeah. finger of death. Koiba, I could use oh, that. Okay. No! Yeah, do it. I know do what that. I know what that does. I know that Koiba. one. I know that one as do well. It. Do it. 
I'm pretty sure I've had a character die to that one before. You have. You ready for another? I love that the um the skull is Upside not down. just a skull. It's just a, an amalgamation of like rib yeah. cages, yeah, and vertebrae, <laughs> and made to look like a skull. And what are the teeth even like? I don't know. What are they? they rib cages. Just I think they're just rocks. Like Little yeah, legs. they look like like cudgels. Yeah. Cudgels. This is just tail spy in campaign. It's a hill giant. Oh, right? hill giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. It's just funny that rather than making a giant skull asset, they were just they just glued a bunch of shit together to make a big skull. <laughs> I feel like that makes it oh, so this much is, more this difficult. This is like custom made. This is some. This is this map. I didn't make this myself, but uh, because we're technically doing some Curse of Strahd shit, uh, somebody else in their spare time made this. So like whoever the fuck you are, big up. Thanks for putting You're it on real the Inspire Lab so that we can all use it. It's great. Your skull looks great. Uh, 20 foot radius would be this big. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'll fuck myself. It's good, it's good. <laughs> oh, 20 foot radius would be that big? Oh, dude, that's, that's not fair at all. Um, <laughs> like, he wasn't casting a spell that's 20 foot radius, he was just showing us. Like, this is what 20 foot radius looks like, guys. <laughs> anyway, finger of death. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. Um, <laughs> right there. Ooh, we're fine. <laughs> As she casts fine. Cloud Kill, this oh. <laughs> 20 foot radius sphere of poisonous yeah. yellow and green fog. Yeah. I'm not you know in they're that, bad right? when they kill clouds. Yes, you are. Uh, I'm not in that. Yes, you are. you are. Yo, Kess will get hit by that. I'm not she's in that. Yeah, see, uh, she's basically a cloud. You all. Fuck off. Like you three. So, Jax, <laughs> uh, Brooks, and Lazarin. I need you guys to yep. make constitution saving throws. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. I win these. I lose these. Yeah. That's hot. Oh, yeah. first, this is a spell, right? Yes, it is. So Brooks gets advantage. Well, fuck, but... thank fuck for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 12? Quite uh, mm -hmm. Fail. Brooks has a 25. Okay, pass. Oh, okay, okay. Jax has an a 16. 16 fails. Fuck! Oh, oh, he's so, gonna be mad at you. Get him. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Just, just yeah. yeah, okay. Also, double so. weight. Also, double weight. Wait, wait. I need, I need to double check something really quick because I don't play jacks. Smile. Uh, it's okay. a dumb, dumb time uh, to ask this, but did you give anyone advantage with your silvery bobs? No. Oh no, I didn't actually. Oh. I would have given it to Bell anyway, unfortunately. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I just which, figured out. Which is up. great because it's fantastic killer concentration spell. What? Um, because she yes. took twenty six points of damage. She took oh, points true. Damage. And I need to make a con save uh, real quick. We're all rusty. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We've, yeah. It's been a while since we've right. Uh, like, Resolve spell save first. Thirteen is the thirteen is the the. the you get advantage because you got the silvery barbs. Yeah. Resolve that first, and then mm -hmm. I've got a Jack's thing to do. I rolled a natural nineteen. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Jack's is going to use flash of genius as a reaction to give himself an extra plus five. He already reacted, though. So he did silvery barbs, right? Fuck! So no reactions for Jack. He hasn't taken. He hasn't taken a turn yet. Nope. He is soon. He, his turn is coming soon. But he's uh, he, he did roll that one. That's how that works. You go last. If he's not dead yet. <laughs> uh, it's only a cheap so I think he just fails, right? Yep. Yeah. Mhm. Mm right, I tried uh, so cool. Brooks, you passed, but you do take half damage. What's half of a billion? Mm. <laughs> oh, it's not that much, bro. It's like a billion and a half. Five like... D eight. Yeah, exactly. Twenty-three points of half poison of a damage, billion is a or billion eleven and a half. if you made the save. Oh, that's great because of my fucking green dragon scale dragon scale crown I got at the beginning of this campaign. Lamau, I take half damage. Right, I'm resistant you to did. poison. I am twenty-three. Twenty-three or eleven. 11. If you get resistance or because I have to do all the Jax's math by hand. Anything bad also happen? Am I like fucking? Have I got a disease now? Um, my I don't know how quick it works. You already had syphilis. No, I didn't. Creatures are affected even if they hold their breath or don't need to breathe. Um, cloud moves 10 feet away from you at the start of each of your turns. No. This is, uh, that's, uh, that's it. You just take damage. Pretty much. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> it's a cloud that kills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty, you know, like Fireball. It is in the description, you know, it's in the name. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and that is going to be her turn. Brooks. Uh, bonus action rage. Come on. 
fucking fuck this shit. Fuck you, all of you. Um, <laughs> then... a different color. Oh my god, I fucking can cloud kill. Boom. It's green. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to use my attack action to throw my two daggers of returning. Okay. Uh, uh, is she more than 20 feet away from me? Yeah, she is, isn't she? She is quite elevated. How high is she up there, by the way? Uh, from where you're standing right now, she is 50 feet away. Uh, fuck it. I'll do it with dis disadvantage. Yeah, I'll do it with disadvantage. It's 60 feet disadvantage. Okay. Um, because if they miss, I get them back anyway. True. Uh, a 19 and an 18 on the first one. So oh, 25. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't get to add my rage damage to this because... Actually, you no. Know, let me double check. When you make a melee weapon attack, yeah, it's, it's throwing a weapon. No, it's a ranged weapon attack to throw it, isn't it? No, I don't. I'm just double checking because if it was strength weapons, it's finesse and I'm using strength for it, so. Mm. Oh, fuck me! Uh, that is five points of piercing damage. Hey, man! Sorry. I rolled a one. Devastating. I rolled a one! It's something. And then, and second attack with disadvantage. Yep. Double eight, so fifteen. Fifteen. No, I'm gonna be. A, I'm gonna be a bit of an asshole here. Right? But like, Go on. Uh -oh. I'm lubed up and ready Realistic. for you to fuck me over. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just want to really see where the line goes from you, because if it hits any of the fucking bone structure, nah, you have a, you have a clear shot because you're kind of behind her. You were seeing okay. if she gets half covered. I was not. seeing yeah, yeah. if she had covered, uh, from you, yeah. but because you're kind of like, that makes sense. Like the, the the teeth protect her from the front, but behind her there's nothing there, and you're kind of in that space. So yeah, no, you're good. Uh, so with a fifteen, that would just hit. Uh, four, six points of damage this Dude, time. This guy's fucking doing numbers, bro. Eleven damage, baby. That's Bearing in mind that it's two d six plus eight, and I got eleven. It's um, better than nothing. And then. I'm going to use my movement to A, get out of this fucking horrible cloud. Okay. Yes. But I want to be in the dome. In the dome. Uh, you know what? Fuck dome. Okay. Laszlo can move up if he's not a pussy. I'm going to move right up to the bottom of the skull so that she has issue seeing me. Like here in this little cubby? Yeah. Okay. Loki... Could move here and still be in the dome and not be in the cloud kill if you want that. I will happily do that then. Okay. That's your that's your one freebie of the day. Um, anything else? That's it for Brooks. All right, now it's uh, yucks. Hey, it's me again. Oh, uh, <laughs> ooh, mm, kind of forgot about a thing. Hmm. Oh. Uh, you are kind of in melee with a swarm of insects that would get an attack opportunity. Uh, Oh, I didn't realize they were still there. Yeah, no, I forgot okay. as well, but they're, they're still there. Uh, I'll stay. I would have had disadvantage. Uh, no, I would have already had disadvantage. I'll stay there then. Fuck it. Stay where? You gonna Will I? I you. No, because then I'm going to take cloud damage. No, I'll let them take an attack of opportunity on me. Okay. Uh, yes, no, this is big brain. I'll let them take the attack of opportunity on Brooks. Uh, dirty 20 to hit? Yep. Okay, uh, what was it again? Fucking 44. Ethan went through all the emotions there. He did. I'm, uh, 12, I'm playing two so six because you're raging. Right. I'm playing two characters, so I'm thinking things. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, so I get temp HP still, smile. I'm just in the dawn. Yeah. Uh, you, I rolled your dice that you got me, and it rolled a one on it. So you get <laughs> nine. <laughs> Pog. It's still nine with a one. I'm still never, nine I'm damage. never, I'm never buying you dice ever again. Balance subclass, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it used to be a D8. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. He can just do it. So he's gonna oh. use his armor to fly. Okay. He's gonna fly up so that he is just outside of melee range of uh, Baba Lee Saga. So like, essentially. Yeah, behind the spiritual weapon. Uh, I mean, what movement speed does he have? Like, what's the flying let speed me, he gets? Let me double check because it's 
Jax's shit's funky because it's all enchanted items, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, do do do. He's like flying up all. Equal to his walking speed, so forty feet he can fly. Forty feet. So like, how high does he go? I want to be within fifteen feet of her, if possible. Okay. If I. I think it is. Um. Well, so I mean, that's, I'm that's going diagonally, feet. right? Uh, 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 this would be 40 feet, roughly. Like, right here. Am, am I within 15 feet of her? Oh, we'll round down. Yes, you just are. Just. Okay. Pog. <laughs> uh, Jax is going to cast Shatter. Okay. Ooh. No, not not Shadow. Shadow's not the one I'm thinking of, is it? Okay. No, Thunder Wave. Okay. Jax is going to cast Thunder Wave. Okay. Uh, so that is a constitution saving throw, please. Fucking fuck. Boop. Boop. Nine plus... I need this to fail. We love when we see the single digits. Mm -hmm. 14. 14. Let mm -hmm. me check his DC. Uh, that's a fail. Okay. Uh, so, 2d8 thunder damage, and it's pushed 10 feet away from Jax. Ooh, does she fall? Oh my god. <laughs> Jax is just blasting people out, out of windows and off fucking... It's, a, it's his new thing. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> 14 thunder damage, because there are two sevens. Okay. Amber. That she falls 10 with, feet. We could come up with a really nerdy new title gonna, for Jax. Because there's some semblance of cover here... I'm gonna roll a strength save to see if that's enough to stop her, or uh, does she, like, topple over it? Okay. Please topple. Ugh. That's pretty fucking bad. She, like, gets booped into this, and some of the teeth kind of, like, break, and she just... Yeah! Yes! Love it. Oh, oh my nice. god. Big Excellent. brain. It's time, baby. Man, it's all you the hags out too. that suspense. Holy shit. It really mm -hmm. is all that. Yeah, the hags too. Yeah, last time you yeah. guys fought hags. It, yeah. Do you know what? That the, one dick the... got blasted out the window and then <laughs> it, tried to climb back character. up the stairs and got blasted no. out the window again. So it's not just pushing people or things out of window, it's specifically pushing <laughs> old, women old women out of windows women. that Jack has a thing for. <laughs> old fey women that like to eat. Well, I suppose to him they're just women. Yeah. <laughs> If only they're um, young women to him. Uh, <laughs> True. So, 14 points of thunder damage. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she takes 4 damage or not. Uh, I'm nah, assuming she's quite, she's she quite lands... big. It's not that big of a drop so like, for her, because she's quite big. So like... I think she's knocked prone she's as well. Tall. I don't know. I don't know. That should say in the spell, no? She's a tall lady. Um. Okay, so the, the spell specifies purely that she's pushed. Yeah. So, so as if you as DM, does she no. get knocked prone when no, she falls no, no, no. off? She falls off. And she superhero lands. She superhero lands it. Yeah, exactly. Um, what a bitch. Okay. And. Uh, buh, 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 buh. And then he's out of the dome now. Any Jax? Uh, yeah. Jax is like. So bonus action, defensive field, and gain eight temp HP. Okay. And that's Jax's turn. All right, back to the top of the round, Aranya. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can kind of see her. She's big as fuck, by the way. Like, you can kind of see her here. Like, just around the... Uh, oh, hey, that's my perspective. The How cute. Mm -hmm. Um, I will use... How many feet away from me is she? Do the math. Do the math. <laughs> Do the monster uh, math. 100. 100 feet. Hundo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna use my wait for it. I have to make decisions now. Um, okay, I'll use Blessing of the Raven Queen to poof thirty feet closer. Okay. So then she'll be seventy feet away. Mm-hmm. And then... Is Blessing of I'll, the Raven Queen a bonus action? Yeah. And then I'll walk the other 10 feet and attempt hold person. 
Oh, so I will need a wisdom a. saving throw. Who double checks? Oh boy, is she not going to be a pastor? I'm sure. There's going to be some bullshit. She's uh, actually a monstrosity and I kill myself. She's actually a sentient pumpkin. Hold a uh, person huh? is for. I think it's just humanoids. Humanoids. Yeah. As in the is a uh, hag not humanoid? Well, humanoid is a creature type, right? Uh, uh so, so dumb. So unfortunately, dumb, whole dumb, person doesn't dumb, work. Dumb, dumb, dumb. That's, that's, so why the that's why the spell hold monster is there. <laughs> that actually um, stinks. In that case, that makes so sense. She's a creature. With she's a fae, but Kess is a humanoid. Yeah. Game bad. <laughs> Game bad. <laughs> bad design. All right. Wizard, please fix. Well, please fix. in that case, uh, I think. Aranya would probably know that. <laughs> um, yeah. And not walk the 10 feet. Okay. They'll stay at their in bush. 70 foot distance. No, they'll, they'll still have done the Blessing of the Waving, yeah, yeah, yeah. Raven Queen thing. Where but... ended up, right here in this little bush. Okay. Um, and they're going to instead do um, Chill Touch then. Okay. If you're not planning to move from That's... there, Briar. Uh huh. You might have been better to walk there and save your Raven Queen thing. No, because now I have resistance to all damage. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. That's so, pretty, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. So, so 24 heck? to hit. I that think hits. that hits. Ooh, yes. they're raging. And then... Sorry, I'm trying to put my d20 back down. Um, Let's see, 2d8. Okay. Necrotic. Fingers crossed. There's no resistance there, but we'll see. Oh, that's only five damage. Gross. Five damage. Oh, you know, look, slowly yeah. chop. You know, like little, little chip, chip away. chipping away. Chipping away. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and that's uh, that's it. That's my turn. All right. Davian. I'm a run thirty-five feet towards her. gonna fire my the one hand crossbow that I have out mm -hmm. for a natural 19 so get roasted uh 1d6 wait 1d6 piercing 1d6 radiant I guess 2d6 piercing because of Hunter's Mark mm -hmm. so Five piercing, three radiant damage. Okay, so eight damage total. Your mini is so camouflaged Ooh. in this map. <laughs> I know. Ranger things. Yeah. Um. Vanish. How far away is Onu from her? Uh, forty feet. That's forty. She takes up four tiles. So he so he can he can run and attack her. He has forty feet of movement. Yeah. All right. Oh, he's coming, galloping in. <laughs> America's ass. Ah. Uh, Toes, bro. God damn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's so rippers, long. <laughs> Yo, no free. That's a sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> Yo, Davy the Ranger. <laughs> I'm those dogs. Wait, does. Don't oh, know if it from Hunter's Mark, I guess not, right? I think is Hunter's Mark's weapon attacks, technically, is that what I mean? Mark. Um, yeah, weapon attacks. Yeah, so. That's whenever you deal oh, Yeah, no, right, okay, right. he doesn't. Uh so because he ran more than twenty feet. It's a charge. It's mm -hmm. So it's an extra D6. Uh, D8 plus D6. Uh, and if the target's a creature, it must succeed on a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Um, hmm. Seven plus... Twelve? Yeah, it doesn't say. So it's 13 points of damage and she's knocked prone. 
Uh, there's no limit on size that. It seems kind of crazy to me, but I guess it's, it's because, like, that. within the realms of it, Onu could be a rhino. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. So, yeah. Like, he's uh, a medium beast, regardless. Like, <laughs> it's just the funniest thing. Yeah, it's hilarious. Crazy. Not prone. Um, and it's a free action for me to draw my sword, right? Yeah. Okay, so I will draw my sword. Oh, oh, actually, hold on. Mm -hmm. It's a bonus action to uh, Superman word for Sunblade. Yeah, I'm checking. Wrong the hilt. <laughs> yeah, so I, I just draw the hilt, but there's no blade, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's my turn. Uh, you didn't roll above a, above a 20, right, Cast for your initiative? I'm pretty sure you were like... Uh... Yeah, I rolled like a fucking... Okay. What did I roll? It was like 10. A... It was like on... It was yeah, dead, it was 10. 10. It was, it was, yeah. yeah, it was 10. Fucking terrible. Um, okay, in that what? case... Because on, you know, we get a lair action, a lair in the form of the oh, skull. No. What the fuck? Uh, skull has actions? The skull Ugh. gets actions, yeah. And specifically, the skull gets bitch. actions when she's not in it. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. So the skull, oh, no. The skull uh, we've made a mistake. Glow, I activated this, like, his trap card. Like this, this white frost glow begins to cover the entirety of the skull. And from one of the eye sockets... It's just a cloud of um, like very cold air kind of erupts, uh, and I oh, need... I the Blizzera music starts playing from Twilight Princess. Uh, <laughs> point... A point within 60 feet. I mean, that's... And it's a... 20 foot radius, so a point within All 60... All the domes! Yeah, but this is just domes. only like a... This is only like a a one-time yeah. thing. I'm just pop that there. Ba -da -da. Uh, that's two people here. It's only mm, could get two here. Uh, it's just gonna just that's gonna go with that. Yeah, why is it? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, why is it always us? Why is it always what us, Bell? <laughs> this is fuck. This is fuck, bro. And also, I, out here taking the dodge action, never gonna get to use it, because me yeah. and are just sitting pretty. <laughs> just stop being targeted, guys. Shut the fuck up. up. Uh, I need you both <laughs> uh, to make dexterity saving throws. It couldn't be wisdom, huh? That's nope. fucking crazy, bro. I need you both in my life. Oh. No. I like an eight saves, right, Dutch? Like eight? That, uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it does not. Gulpers! Uh, saving throw, 18. 18, that does. So you take half damage. Yay! I can't help you, Koiba. You're too low for no, that's to fine. Help. That's fine. If uh, you it's rolled a like bit higher, damage. I could have given uh, you a You really take 17 opponent. points of cold damage, Koiba, or Lazarin. Uh, Kes, because you saved, you take eight. Yay! Guys, this is fine. Do I have to roll a Everything fucking uh, concentration, oh, yeah, concentration check? check? Yeah, so make a con save. DC is 10. I rolled an 11. Okay. Hey. Uh, Alright. And then now, Kes, it is your turn. Yay! I'm fucking Aldrich blasting the shit out of her. Uh, she is prone, so you have disadvantage. Ah. Oh. Then am I gonna do it? Hmm. Or am Plus, I gonna... You, I, I was still have, uh, Do you have advantage on... People that are frightened of you, because in that case it would be a straight roll. No. No. She's also not frightened of her. No, Just she's frightened of the spirits. nightmares. True, 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 true. Okay, yeah, then that would be with his vampire. I mean, strong. you could kill the swarms. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, there's a swarm like, in your fucking ass. Yeah, I'll fucking sword oh, bust that it. imagery. Oh, I don't need that. The, the insects need to roll a dexterity save. Save, save. Insects. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Where's my D20, guys? I nice. hate this fight. Honey! I love it. Where's my D20? I've, I've had two is. turns already. Uh, nine. What stats do these fucking bugs have? Uh, yeah, that's a ten. Oh, dang it. They failed! 2d6. Dang it. Excellent. Nine and three thunder. Alright, so 12 points of damage total. Yes. Uh, you see that like about half of the swarms in this insect swarm drop dead. Excellent. And then she has to no, never mind. 
<laughs> That's the end of her turn. Not my turn. That's it. Huh? Nice. Yeah. She like I thought she had to roll a save, but it's at the end of her turn, not the end of my turn. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. Doig. I'm gonna go get ice cream. Nice. I'm mad. <laughs> uh, Daigon. Okay. Um, is I question. Mm -hmm. Do I and Duke? Maybe you also would know the answer. Would I know the command word to activate Sunblade? Like, Probably was I not. there when it was told to you, or have you said it out loud? Or I don't think so. Oh, okay. So I could activate it for you and save you. Think. I mean. Did you can still it like. In the tavern? Sorry, I didn't he take so. it out in the tavern? And I then don't, people were I like, don't think so. you guys were away." That. He did, but he didn't light it. I don't think in the tavern. No, he did. That's why they were yelling at him. There was like a reaction of people in the tavern, like, oh, "Yeah, there was." There was I people were like, that, "Turn the, the fuck off." I think. Yeah, I think so. Because he was showing it off to the whole party. Then he was there. The I... only person who wasn't there was fucking Brooks because he was on the roof moping. Yes. Then I would know the command word because I saw him do it. Um, yes. I will. Okay. Then the other part of my question: If I use my action, which is like to make your host attack with a weapon, um, and if I hold the action for a specific, like, because you can hold actions normally till a specific thing happens, so I could do that while still in. I could be like hold. Um, a, a, a Davian attack until, say, she came in melee or something. Yeah. I could specify that as... Okay. okay. Then, I... Um, here's this kid. Hope this is okay! Uh, bonus action. Uh, Davian's mouth moves, but Daigon's voice comes out and says the command word to activate the Sunblade. <laughs> and I will hold my action, which is make my host attack. And the trigger is if she enters Davian's melee then Davian will make an attack with the sword. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. That is my turn. Alrighty. I was and just going to say, if you, if you wanted undone. to, if you wanted to use the damage thing, I'm still technically holding the weapon. Just the blade isn't out yet. So I think you could still like put the radiant damage on it because I have the hilt out in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that would have been enough. I could. Because but... the, the blade isn't technically material. So you, I guess you wouldn't yeah, do it on the blade. That, 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 but yeah, yeah. Like, okay. The weapon. I, was just, I, I was just making sure that's like, it wasn't an issue in your mind, but yeah. Uh, no, if the whole that wasn't it. Attack just, again. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. So if before my next turn she enters your melee, you will make an attack with the sword. I would say just like probably because I'm attuned to it that only I would be able to speak the command word to make the... Because oh. can you imagine I'm carrying it around on my fucking thing and someone well, just like goes well, speaks we, the command word and it just blasts through yeah. my chest we, and I die? Well, like, well like, if we retcon the flavor, then maybe it is your voice that comes out, but I'm making you say it because it's still, oh, I'm in your oh. body, you're she, saying it. She's possessing you, right? So whatever your body does, is still you doing it. That's why I'm like, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all right. Yeah, I, I'm just, so we're yeah. changing it. Instead of hearing mm -hmm. Dagon's voice out of your mouth, it is Davian's voice, but you're like, in your head, you're like, I didn't do that, but that's why you heard before I preface with hope it's okay and then you spoke the command yeah. word and then boom. so alrighty um Elazarin okay uh hmm now uh, I've got the uh, insects all in front of me right yeah you have one right here rolling up your booty but you know what you know what fuck it I'll do something I've not done for ages go on I will take out the two golden lime figurines and throw them. Oh shit! No. Hey. Uh, fuck. Uh, any lions? Any lions? <laughs> Yo, any really? lions in chat? Uh, let's see. What, what beasts do we have that will most cl look closest to a lion, guys? Um, giant rat. Yes, of course. <laughs> Monkey. 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 <laughs> The fuck? That's a bear. Fuck it, did you? Bears. That's a bear. There you go. Two bears. All right. No lion tags. Yeah, they'll, they'll be. What are you talking about? Uh, I'll put them both to the outside the cloud kill, but can hit the uh, swarm that's behind me. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, right? I don't know when their turn happens because it doesn't fucking say on the item. <laughs> I think we decided that they just go after you. After me? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's what I 
thought. Uh, so then, as my bonus action, I will move my spiritual weapon 20 feet towards her. Towards, uh... Yep. Baba, your mum. Yep. Um... Right there, like it's yep. hovering still, but like it still has to yep. like descend at some point. But uh, you know, yep, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take a few turns to get there, guys. Turns, but you know, it's it's on the hope way. She doesn't, on the way. Hope she doesn't stand up and suddenly move. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, and then that will be my turn. I will get fucking ooh, twelve temp HP. And then the lions will go, and they're both just gonna fucking Whale attack. Wait, insect swarm. Whoop. Yes, right. And because they are next to an ally, they get advantage. There you go. Because of pack tactics. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. So the first one is what the f what do they get to do? They get to do one thing. How does this work? Yeah. <laughs> cool. The, the the first one will bite at the swarm. And that is a 19 to hit. That hits. And does 9 points of damage. Okay. And then the second one is also going to go for a bite. Because it's just better. That's cock. You're a cock. Oh, well, the lower number. That's great. Uh, it's a 17 to hit. That hits. Okay, let's go. And then that's that's not the right dice at all. My dice bag is so fucked up. Uh, unfuck it. Uh, uh, that might take a might take a little while. Uh, that's ten points of damage. Uh, ten and nine. No, 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 yeah, this uh, insect swarm ceases to exist. Noise. Uh, that will be their turn. Mm. And because they have their own initiative count. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I get temp HP. <laughs> I get temp HP. Oh wait! Oh wait! Never mind. Never mind. Answer you my not own question. In the dorm. Yeah. Not in the dorm. I, I realized like... that as I said it. It's like never mm -hmm. mind. <laughs> so one of them gets thirteen temp HP, and one of them gets uh nine. Um. So what the fuck is this? Twenty six. It's now her turn. Yarp. At the start of your next turn, the cloud kill moves away ten, f moves ten feet away. So it's oh. gonna move ten feet down. Skirt. Of course, it fucking is. Uh, it'll probably like more like diagonally because it has to go away from her as well. But it's still definitely very much has the both lions and you in it. And I need all three of you to make uh, on saves. You Not the lions. Bro, lions are like got the same constitution score as me. So this is fucking excellent. Thing. What saves do they have, or is it just plus one? It is just plus one. So... I got a... 15. Mm -hmm. And an 11, and a 7. To the lions. What the fuck? Do you all take 15 points of poison damage? Wait. <laughs> what did you get, Koiba? Uh... I can't remember what the fuck I said. That's 17, some shit like that. 15. Uh, Jax will no. use Flash of Brilliance on oh. Koi, but on mm. Elasrin specifically. Okay. So he gets uh, an extra plus five. Okay. In that case, you take seven points of poison damage, Elasrin. Wait, both... what was it originally? What was the original was 15. number? So I take seven, half again because I'm resistant. Oh, yeah. Down to three. Are Michigan. the lions real lions? Like they take. Yes, sir. Yes. They turn into real lions. They oh, okay. statues of lions that turn into just lions. <laughs> I mean, that's cool, but I was hoping that, you know, maybe they'd be like constructy or something that could No, I have to. I damage. have to now do actual master, not just make the magic machine do it. So give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, while well, you figure that out, it's, it's actually going to be her turn. She's going to use half of the oh. movement to uh, get up. And then she's gonna surrender. What? She wants to stand up. Yeah, she's gonna put her hands up. Uh, she'll put Everybody her hands up. In love. Mm -hmm. oh, she'll put, an she'll put one hand up specifically. Oh, but oh. already. Oh news. And aim it at. I'm so glad uh, I'm not in line of sight. Aim it at. Davian. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. 
Of course, now go. the dodge action isn't relevant anymore, son of a bitch. It's probably going to be a saving throw. It's probably going to yeah. be a... I'm probably just going to die. I'm just going to drop dead on the spot. No, I have reactions. I can do things. It's fine. And Dagon's going to die us. for real forever. I can protect spot. us! I believe. <laughs> I wish I used a spell to some of the lions, but I could have done something. Could have been useful here. Uh... And as she raises her hand, mm. it just becomes as one finger, and she points it mm. at you as she casts mm. Finger of Death. Oh, mm. I, I would Red. like to I would like to use my reaction, seeing that, to do Divine Barrier. And so you get a bonus oh. to your AC or a saving throw equal to my Wisdom modifier. So All you right. get plus three on top of whatever your normal modifier will be. Cool. Uh, in that case, uh, you need to make a Constitution saving throw, but you get that extra bonus. A con save? Mm -hmm. Oh god, I'm oh, dead, no. guys. Just so you all know, I'm yeah, fucking it dead. To kill you, so you you get a plus five total. Oh then. shit! Wait. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, that's a natural seventeen. So it's twenty something. It's like twenty. Okay. So you take, two, you take half damage. You take half damage. Yay. Right, okay. Mm. What am I thinking of? Powered kill is what I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, under hundred. Yeah. No, but this one's almost as bad. Yeah, it just does a fuckload of damage instead. Yeah, and if it kills you, you're like a zombie. 34 plus 30 is 64. No, it's, so just you, it's, it's 78 plus 30. So 64 divided by 2, you, you take 32 damage, necrotic damage. Woo! That fucking uh, hurts. Does that, that mean Dagon takes 16? Dagon takes 16. You take half whatever Dagon takes, right? Dagon? Oh, oh it's very fucking was the Oh, I'm so, um, so Also, as, points, as I Good take safe, the damage, uh, you'll also see my spirit leave your body because when I use Divine Barrier, I'm pushed out. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. So yeah. You... Wait. Divine I'll barrier. Protect you and then I leave. Divine barrier impact. You get pushed out. That's yeah. Essentially how this. How okay. This so, so not you, so you, you use divine glow. barrier and zoop out and yeah. don't take the damage. Um. I don't. Let me check the order. What the stack would yeah. that would be actually? At sixth level, you protect your host using your ghostly body to create a temporary shield. You're using your body you to see create shields. I go. So you, yeah. So that's why I leave your body. So it. I. It's like I. My spectral self yeah. mitigates some of the damage as the flavor. She takes the so I'm still the taking. Attack. I still take yeah, the damage. Yeah, yeah. And then gets like boofed out because of that. So it says once the attack okay. is resolved, the possession immediately okay. ends. Go. So. So I. 16, I, 16 damage. I still take 16. Yeah. 32 yep. for Dabian. Yep. Uh, all right. Thanks, Laura. You okay. will. So Daigon just kind of like appears behind Davian right here. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Um, but now if she enters your melee, you don't get an attack with the sword because I'm not in there anymore. True. <laughs> that's also true, yeah. And um, I, I cannot use my possession feature until the end of my next turn, so I have to wait a turn before I can hide in someone's body again. Uh, the insect swarms. What is there? What is there? What is there? Back in movement. Um, yep. Swarm of insects, movement speed of 20. Uh, five, ten, four, there you go, boom. This insect swarm is uh, going to attack Brooks. Hi. At uh, least they're not spiders. It's a 13 to hit. Uh, no. Believe it or not. The other insect swarm, or half of an insect swarm, I should say, is going to attack Kess. What? Or a 15 <clears throat> to hit. Wait, no, that doesn't hit. All right, there you go. So you, do you, you, you dodge the uh, the remaining insects at your feet. Um, Finally. All right. Boom. Brooks. You're Wait, up. she has to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, she does? Oh, okay. Uh, Natural one. <clears throat> yes! Ayo! <laughs> 4 d 10 damage. Mm. Oh, because she's still fucking phantasmal. She's it's still getting it. phantasmal killered. Oh, oh nice. Oh, my God. 6, okay. 12, 22. 22? Yeah. I need to roll concentration. Okay. With a saving throw of 16. Harder. Yes. Good luck! Natural 18. There you okay. go. Oh, he's busy. Um, okay. Brooks. Hello. What would you like to do, good show? Uh, I'm still around the corner, right? Yeah, you're like... You're, you have an insect swarm up your ass, but... Uh, 
Ugh. How much movement would it take for me to get to Baba Lysaya? 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Alright, first things first, let's get this swarm off the board. I punctured an insect swarm. Oh, mate! Recklessly. Damn. Uh, I mean, really hates that fucking. Fly. I was about to say, like, you can't. How can you like non-recklessly punch a swarm of like insects? Right, like it has to be like some sort of fucking like haymaker anyway, right? You can't just be like. Hey man, I've I've punched a wasp or two in my time. <laughs> what, like full, just like. Yeah. Twenty six to hit. TikToks with this fucking little, little like this guy with his like little tin like <laughs> ball just. Yeah. God. What'd you say, uh, Ethan? Sorry. Twenty six to hit. That hits. And 10 points of bludgeoning damage. <sighs> Bludgeon these bugs, mate. Are they still alive, mate? How many points was that, sorry? 10. Uh, they are still alive, yes. Oh, I hit them again. Uh, that's a uh, 17. Uh, hits. Another 10. Now they're not alive anymore. Thank God for that. We right. Swat all the bugs. Uh, I would like to move to position myself between, uh, to, I want to be in front of Dagon. I want to block Dagon from view of, I keep wanting to call it Baba Yaga, it's not, it's Baba Lysaga. Baba Lysaga, mm -hmm. Lysaga, whatever. Uh, that will cost you... Baba Lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> That's her to say. The surprise it takes that long. <laughs> it's dead! What, you, what have you done? What have you done? Uh, okay. Good boy! We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, like there, uh, Ethan? Uh, a bit more yeah. forward. <laughs> yeah. I actually made me jump. I fucking stop. What, what's that next to me and <laughs> Ghosty Dagon? Davian. Uh, Davian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so blended in. I yeah. know, he, this map is like his perfect camouflage. I'll go there, because I haven't got much further movement, and that way she's going to struggle to kill Ghost Dagon. Okay. Is that your turn? It is. Right, Jax. Oh, hello, hi, it's me oh, again. Oh, look, it's your turn again. <laughs> Jax is just uh, up in the back of the skull, you know. He's on. Uh, weird, Jax though. is going to... It's going to be quicker to go up and over the skull than round. I reckon, yes. So, up and over, how far can you get with Can't four? go under it. Shut the fuck up. Go under 10 feet, and he'll be able to kind of just... 10... This is, this is 30 feet. How much does he have? 40. 40? Uh, I'm like... He'll be like here. Like, kind of like hovering above her at this point. How's uh, Madam Hag looking? Oh, uh, looking pretty rough. I feel like he's barely touched her. <laughs> yeah, it's no, she's fun. been she's been taking damage, but um, good. Uh, I just want to hit us with some sort of fucking hail mary, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, she don't whip out finger of death for no reason, bro. That's true. I whipped out the finger Fuck, of death for no reason. I do Didn't it. go down well. <laughs> Uh, fuck it. Um, uh, he's got so much shit, and none of it's actually fucking useful. He just has like a billion fucking options. Yeah, he's, uh, he, he is many, many things. Ray of Frost. Like a literal wow. toolbox. Ray of Frost. Plus eight. Plus five. Plus eight. Hmm? Nineteen to hit. It's. So, 2d8 cold damage. 10 points of cold damage. Okay. Uh, uh, her speed's reduced by 10 feet. Sounds good. Anything else? And that's... Yeah, Jax is smart. Jax is going to move his last 10 feet back over the skull. No, oh, he already moved 10. Huh? Oh, was that the last 10 feet up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. He'll stay there. Alright. You do a little poop on her. Aranya. 
Me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so thing. I ended at uh, seventy feet away, yes, right? She hasn't so, moved yet, so I'm gonna do another blessing of the Raven Queen. Poof, okay. thirty feet closer again, and then mm-hmm. walk ten feet. And uh, she needs to make a Constitution save. The frick, heck, dude. Want to buy Please be shitty at constitution and or <laughs> rolling. Uh, God damn it. Was that her roll? 18. That I... Yes. <sighs> I hate her. This is not um, nice. Yeah, it doesn't even take half damage. Yeah, thank you. are not here to make friends. <laughs> All right, that's Aranya's useless turn. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was actual late. sadness in that, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, it's me. With an active blade. Thank you. Oh, well, I have to use a bonus action to have an active blade, which is kind of fucked, no, to be honest. Well, no, I activated, activated it before I got Oh, out. Dragon actually did do that. Yeah, oh, shit. It. So I, before I got left your body, I got I caught that. up in the in the bureaucracy of it all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Too much red tape, man. <laughs> so it is it is active the sunblade. So your your lightsaber and running. I saved you a bonus action. Your action economy. You're welcome. <laughs> I actually might I might have bad news actually retroactively <laughs> with all of that because it's not it's not even a word. It's you can use a bonus action to cause a blade of radiance to spring into existence. But, oh. you know, I was the one holding the... I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah. I, uh, I was yeah, in your body anyway. somehow, man. I did yeah. the thing. Sure, 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 sure. If it's the blade action, active, blade active, button. it's active. I'm not going to complain. Exactly, it's active. Um, Move on. All right. Now I'm going to start fucking swinging. Mm, can I flank with Onu? Is that a possibility? I want my chances to be as good as possible here. What's your uh, movement speed? 35. This will be low. 5, 10, 15. That was three. That was four tiles. Yeah, but diagonal, so we're one tile away. Uh, 15, oh, okay, okay. 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah. Alright. Oh, baby, okay. What's my fucking... Oh, it's a plus eight because it's fucking finesse. Can I hold it in both hands? Yeah. Yeah. I can hold it in both hands. <laughs> Attack number one. Isn't it? 18 to hit for uh 10 points of radiant damage okay wait what's this what's this extra d8 is that if she's undead undead and blue yes okay and she's not undead she's not no okay so that's 10 points of radiant damage oh wait hunter's mark plus six so 16 points oh we love the hunter's mark all right Second attack. Oh, that's pretty bad. Uh, oh. I don't think there's any way I can just make this hit. It's a 14. That just misses. Yeah. Okay. But now Oni could attack. So. Mm-hmm. And that's a 19 to hit. That it? For Onu, it's just... Uh, the D8, because he didn't run anywhere. Oh, but he rolled max damage. So, uh, 8 plus 2, so 10 plus 3, so 13 points of damage so how from do the dog. Do both... I'm gonna finish her off. Oh! Woo! Oh, I mean... He fucking bites her on the shin, and as she, like, reels back, like, I just slice her head off. Just like that. Nice. Meow. Meow. You Meow. know, instantly cauterized, head tumbles Meow. off. Okay. As you do, uh, you hear a bunch of just agonized screams and then followed by uh. complete silence from, uh, from, from coming from the village, like from several locations and then just complete silence. Oh, it's the scarecrows! And uh, this skull that she enchanted completely breaks apart and just crumbles. So creepy. But um, it seems you've defeated Babali Saga. What would you guys uh, like to do now? 
I do a little like, Final Fantasy, like, ba 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 and then <laughs> put the lightsaber away. I don't want to feel like my rage is a waste, so can I go and start attacking at last? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my I'm kidding. Why would you I'm kidding. Do that? Throws the first punch. Like, Brooks unmuted. throws the first punch. Banishment. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> do it. And I'll wait the full minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's a threat. You don't get to play DD anymore. <laughs> okay, but you uh, you defeated Babylon Saga. You did it. claimed Tome of Strahd, which Jack got the tome. Loot her corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I said, loot her corpse. <laughs> uh, Take his move. vest. Want, yeah, exactly. Laura out. gets it. <laughs> Take her toes. Got you. <laughs> Take her toes. What? Yeah, she got oh, big ones. God. Take her toes. I mean, do you want to go loot? Uh... Weird. I do want to check oh, wait, it out. Yeah. Wait, wait before anything. before yeah. anybody loots her corpse, I'm just gonna go. Hey guys, watch this. You know how I can possess corpses? <laughs> oh, no. oh no. I'm gonna go in and possess. So it's just you see ghost Daigon head on the headless Baba Saga body, and I'm gonna just be like, I'm such a demi old witch man, and just do stupid shit and walk around for a minute with Daigon head on, and, and then be like, okay, I'm done, and leave. <laughs> I will not leave the cloud <laughs> kill area. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that, that no, it goes away because she's I mean, dead. It's like, it's... Oh. I will uh, touch both the... Hmm. No, do I, do I want to keep the lions out for an hour? Or do I want to get rid of them <laughs> now? No, keep I them mean... out for an hour. You're Are they right. friendly? Yeah, they're friendly. Are they gonna I abide want us? lion friends. No, oh, I'll, I'll keep yeah. the lion friends out. If he tells them to be friendly. I don't they're know if I've ever that seen friendly. a lion in person, so bum, 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 they're bum. interested. They will pet. <laughs> I will go to pets and be like, oh yeah, I, I feel nothing. <laughs> oh no. I will pet I mean, anyway. Little, what? Like a little tiny teacher. Yeah. I will, I will, I will gonna say that one is like a male lion and one's a female lion. There's nice. a boy and a girl, and they... <laughs> are they gonna sit there in love? Are they lioness? roommates? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> they were roommates Bro, they're definitely not... They're just friends, boys. <laughs> they're just... <laughs> they're they're really friends. good friends. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, Jax lands and stops wasting his flying boots. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, speaks like this. Uh, 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 <laughs> and, and then right, eventually, Jackson. and then eventually, tells everyone about the fucking tome that he picked up. Yeah, which I, in character, can't remember the specifics of. Tome of no, just, Strahd. The, 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 yeah, to make sure he doesn't his, try to keep he it. it no, yet, yeah, it's uh, it's this leather book. Uh, the leather is kind of like a red color. It has like a clip uh, to keep it closed, and um, yeah. I would like to look so in the spooky dramatic. witch hut. <laughs> But the spooky witch hut isn't there. Oh, it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. True. It's right. We're not it, there. You can really go visit her home if you want. Not at, you know. Wait, before I leave, before I leave the witch body, I'm like, do you think her home is trapped? Do you think maybe the traps won't go off if I'm if it's if it's her entering the house? Like, I would imagine the magic is a bit more sophisticated than just a whole body. I don't use magic. Yeah. I don't yes. know how things work. Because Brooks would honestly. Know this. That could be worth doing. <laughs> be because Brooks would At least for it. the memes. <laughs> but Jax might. Mm -hmm. Jax is going to go, um, well, if she made the magic and it's linked to her, then it would have been dispelled when she died. So. There. Okay. Check her points. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go through pockets while I'm. That's the only like, Jax impression you're getting, in. motherfuckers. As you're going through her pockets, you, uh. Urgh. You, you you feel around and there's some there's some like it's gotta be lips, some gross spell like component. giant toenails there's <laughs> one of her back pockets there's just like mushy Ew. wet ground and what you think is grass but then you look closer and it seems to be human hair mixture and yeah. does she have pocket bacon you see me going through her pockets <laughs> and then you just hear me go oh if I could throw up I would <laughs> I mean if you need to if you need to throw yeah. up like you're welcome to jump in and we'll get very drunk and don't don't do that it that's wasn't a, a, it wasn't a, a, an urge or a want it was if i had a physical response to this stimuli it was more where i was going with that but thank <laughs> you <laughs> yeah no, look 
if you miss things like throwing up, I'm not gonna judge that, you know, no. like that no was one, one of the only really... benefits of being hairless, actually, was I did that a lot less than my family. His Dutch throwing up is the really one. weird. <laughs> oh no, I was just turning something down, and I guess somehow the thing didn't fucking disappear. Um <laughs> I clicked out like who's it. in trouble? No, I just I noticed that when Belle spoke, Belle has been really quiet the last few weeks, and suddenly today her mic is acting normal. So I had to because she's off her meds. Yeah. I to... I'm not off my meds. Thank you very much. That would be more concerned. I am. About this is the that. real Belle. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you guys? What are you guys planning on doing? Um... Clearly, there's nothing. At least, see me. Her pockets are too gross to keep searching, yeah, so I'm no, gonna leave her body gross. now. I think. And Jax agrees with me because for today he agrees with me that yeah. we should look at the tome later uh, and just put it in the bag of holding for now and maybe go check out her place. Okay, I'm down. I'm happy to do that. All right. Um, this might be the first time everyone's agreed to do something. As you <laughs> go towards the center of town, you do notice that all the scarecrows, where previously were scarecrows, nothing but wooden sticks stand in the ground the Good. Oh, yeah. have gone and then uh i suggest we go on break here real quick for like a few minutes and then uh yeah. check out our hut and else oh yeah after. sounds yeah. like a plan batman hell yeah so we'll be right Are back chicken man or batman <laughs> nobody here's gonna understand Batman it's a such a like me and dutch <laughs> joke <laughs> <laughs> all right uh we'll be right back Thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you.
it's, 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 it's. Oh my god, he's actually a Dalek. Oh my god. Well, what a way to end up. Have my timing. Be a good Dalek. Exactly. Okay. He doesn't even say you would be a good and Dalek. He says you are a good Dalek. A Dalek. And to quote the Ninth Doctor, kill yourself. I don't. I don't think. I don't think he does. <laughs> are we thinking of the same scene, the one with um, with the Ninth Doctor? So there's two. There's one with the Ninth Doctor says you would. There's be yeah, there's and later the on with the Twelfth Doctor. Yeah. yeah. I know too much about this. <laughs> we know you're a nerd. We get it. No such thing. Doctor Who's amazing. I. I'll be honest. I stopped watching when Capaldi started. Anyway, <gasps> so DJ, my cat is I, named Capaldi. So I know. I just. It wasn't that I didn't like him, it was that I just sorry, didn't Dutch, care didn't anymore. Have enough priest, didn't anyway, have enough break talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be here. No, um, I'll be honest, <laughs> I, just, I just sat down and didn't realize Dutch was unmuted. So, you, uh, you, you looted, uh, Babali Saga, to find mm -hmm. nothing but gross, gross disgustingness. Things. Yeah, but those giant toenails, you could use them. Giant toenails. Uh, They're daggers. A bit of mud <laughs> mixed <laughs> with what seems like human hairs or humanoid hairs, I should say. Um, you you ventured, you know, you're going towards her hut in the center of the village. Uh, yes, you notice that the scarecrows are all gone. And as Wait. you approach the hut, my music has just full on disappeared for no reason. Who needs it? I wonder, if, I wonder if mysterious Aztec music and ambience would be good for Strahd. It's um, only way to find out. <laughs> uh, you s see that some, you know, someone has built a ramshackle wooden hut on the stump of what was once an enormous tree. Uh, the rotting roots of the stump thrust up from the mire like the legs of a gigantic spider. You see an open hmm. doorway uh, is visible on one side of the hut. Um, and beneath which you see a large hollowed out space, which you assume would be where the skull would be chilling if uh, it wasn't in use. Um, flanking the hut's doorway are two iron cages that dangle like hideous ornaments. Uh, and you see that scores of ravens are trapped in each one. And they squawk and flutter their wings excitedly as they see you approach. Ooh, oh. I want to try and free them. Uh, can I assist and help in that? Uh, yeah, you if there are that, locks to be picked, um, I'm picking them. The cages <laughs> are like, like there's like a latch to keep them shut, but there, there isn't a lock or anything. It's just a matter oh, okay. of... Damn it! Um, yep. Uh, but you can, <laughs> and as you do, the ravens all kind of like flutter out and, and kind of circle around you a little bit before they eventually just Attack. fly off into the distance yeah. and fly away. Aranya tries to, like, gently <laughs> pet a few as they're fluttering about, but she, you know, they let them yeah. go, of course. Um, yeah. But, um, other than that, that is the outside of the uh, the hut. You can kind of peek uh, through the door, because there, there, there's no door, there's just a doorway, essentially. I, I don't believe this place will be trapped. We killed her. There's gonna be no um, magic here anymore. Yeah. I'm fucking in. The, the, the traps in. would be magical. Okay. The inside of the hut uh, is a, is about 15 feet on one side uh, and packed with old furniture, including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel-topped wooden chest reinforced with uh, brass bands, and an iron tub stained with blood. Ew. In the middle of the room is a I ghastly like wooden crib with a small... Um, don't say baby. A small angelic child sitting in it. Oh! All the furnishings, except for the crib, are bolted to the floor, and you see beneath the crib, green light seeps up through the cracks between the rotting floorboards. Demons, baby. Demon I want to use my. I want to use my branch. <gasps> I can. I want to um... use my branch um, to uh, figure oh, out baby. if there are any. Uh, what's it called? Beans, the fucking... phase, uh, yeah, yeah, beans, phase, uh, detects aberrations, celestials, constructs, ele elementals, fey, fiends, or undead. Hello, I was thinking of the wrong, uh, <laughs> character. I yeah. was like, I can do divine sense, but I don't have that on this character. <laughs> I can be My investigation's on this character, different character. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> you'll detect me. <laughs> you do not detect anything, and as you're kind of like wiggling the stick around, you can see that it, it just kind of goes through the crib and child. Seemingly oh, good. An illusion. Not real. No. I'm just gonna oh, like fuck. wave my arm through it. Is that before we hmm. advance any further? Yes. 
Do we want Jax to start ritual casting to text magic? Because it will take 10 minutes. Fuck no. <laughs> okay. Jax can do whatever. Not any... ritual. Use a spell slot pussy. <laughs> Yeah, so a bunch of furniture, a chest, and there's still this like green glow coming from oh, the floorboards under the creek. I'll look at the green glow. I'll investigate that. It's got my attention. Okay. Shiny. Um. Well, you'd have to, you know, the floorboards are rotting, so it's very easy for you to kind of like yeah, yeah. Away. Low. Uh, and there's just this, yeah, this this large green glowing gem. Um, uh, do you pick it up? Do you touch it? Uh oh. Now here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't like how you said question. that. I just want to know. Like you said, you're gonna investigate it. Do you? I with it? would like to, uh, not directly touch it. I definitely have something here. Give me a second. Let me give find me, something. Give me a second. Give me. Just give me a sec, okay? Yeah, I'm giving uh, you all the uh, sex. Uh, Is there anything like identifying about the? I will use or... like my vestments, <laughs> like my co like clothing vestments that I have, okay. and just like scoop it, like use like a slip of my hand, like the sleeve, right, and just like sure. the sleeve. Yeah, and you pick it up, uh, it. and as you uh, as the gem moves, you can feel the house moving. And for those looking at the door, you can see as you move the gem around, the like roots under the house begin to animate and move in the direction that you gem. P -p 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 put it down, put it down, put it down. Put it in your pocket. Don't put it in your pocket. It's moving <laughs> the entire thing. <laughs> you and insane. That, Who needs a fucking card? We can ride a house and around. And that, Kess, is awesome. I know. <laughs> what would happen if we threw also, it? Also, I'm very you afraid it, of where this house really is going. Fast. I will, I will, like, throw it in the air. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. The house is like the roots just extend, and the house is like elevate. Oh, it just extends. Oh, it stays up. It comes crashing it stay up down. Or it comes back down. It stays up. <gasps> I will like move it down to back to like level. Yeah, it or, seems like, that it. it's not necessarily the entire motion; it's just the initial motion that you do. Oh, yeah, so yeah the direction you move it. Yeah, so you like lowering the gem a little bit, just like the 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 roots dig themselves mm. back into the ground. No, here's the thing. Please stop moving the house. Uh, I'm gonna right. to investigate the uh, <laughs> illusory crib. Uh, crib? Crib? Uh, bell? Crib. Yes. Uh, uh, make an investigation crib. check. It's kind of hard because oh, it is an illusion. So as you get closer, you can kind of see the magic kind of distorting a little bit. But... Yucky. Oh, no. It's, if only illusion magic was my jam. Ha <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, fucking 22. 22? You notice one detail about the crib. Uh, oh, I don't like. The baby is just kind of sitting up upright in the in the crib. You can see on the headboard of the crib, the name Strahd is carved. No, thank what you. The fuck? No, Wait, thank first you. of all, is that his first name? And secondly, <laughs> what? Yes, the full name is Strahd von Zarevich. Strahd von Zarevich. Oh, okay. Strahd. I always imagined Strahd, Strahd, Strahd being the last name. No, so I'm we're, like, we're who puts their kid's last name? <laughs> Oh, okay. We're basically bodies. It's no. oh. No, Strahd is his uh, was it, Was the baby set up to begin with? Or yeah, it has just, it, it moved? Just, it, just, it, it has not moved. Oh, okay, 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 okay. For a second, I thought it was lying down, and then it just like no, no, shifted, it's, 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 it's up, just, and I was like, what the fuck? It, it did Strahd. the horror movie, like, uh, it sits up and looks <laughs> at me, and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, uh, so, yeah, that's weird. Um, but other mm -hmm. than that, not much. Just, that's weird. It's strange. So, Don't like that. What the fuck are we gonna do with this house? We have a house that moves. I mean, I want to keep it. Do we have a house that moves. It's pretty cool. Like we can we always never sleep somewhere. outside again. Right. I feel it's like there's almost no way we get out of Barovia, but oh no. While no, we're while here, we're in God, here. I wonder what happens if I like hold the thing and then go to the no, elemental. You might break it. You don't want to break oh. it. I mean, it's not breaking it. Get mine. <laughs> I suspect. <laughs> so, so Jax said, "Magic trap's probably gone." But do we think there might be non-magic trap? Should maybe me and Kess go out? It could be trap? physical ones. I mean, I, I mean... I'd love to look around. I always wanted to go in Baba Yaga's house, but this is this close is close enough. enough. A close second. Should I we mean... go do a, a trap scout then? Yeah, yes. Be... I mean, I'd probably check like the chest and maybe I will. 
uh, just Explode. just in cases, just do a second level C invisibility. Okay. Just in cases there's anything. Um, nothing invisible. Cool. That's fine. Anything in the ethereal plane? Uh, <laughs> just some real agonized spirits. But you know, it's kind of their whole. Oh, oh it's, it's, the, it, it's the like. I can see stuff. Oh dear Christ! Yeah. <laughs> just, oh no! Just, just, I can't just, wait. Just kind of like all like <laughs> looking at you, just like. Davis. Eventually. Davis. One day. Elastrin starts walking with the crystal still in his arms. <laughs> the house just like... sways. <laughs> Eventually, Elastrin's gonna cast the invisibility, and Dutch is gonna be like, "You notice that there's 312 invisible demons in this room." Oh, oh my god. god. Mm. That's, yeah, but That's like so specific. I like when I've gone <laughs> insane, right? So they won't be real. <laughs> no, no. Like, mm -hmm. like in the middle of the night, we hear something. Lazarin can see invisibility, and we're just like surrounded, like Vashtan or Ada style, just oh surrounded God. by shit. I um, want to look at the chest. Okay. I want to assist Kess in checking for traps. Roll an investigation check. That's best. I, I mean. I'll give you advantage if uh, Brooks is oh. assisting. I'm assisting, but but I'm not very good at it. Okay, right, right. I'll uh, roll. Investigation with advantage. It's fine. Oh, nice. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, you notice that the chest is protected by a glyph of some sort. Um, can someone dispel magic this shit? Now, see, I made a choice this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Why you always make bad decisions? I thought level... remove curse would come in handy. What levels the spell magic? It's third. three, right? Third level. Third level. Yeah, that's out of Jax's remit. Yeah, God. I have unless, it. Unless he has an item, let me double check, because he does have yeah. a lot of items. Yeah, I don't think he has anything for he has dispelling magic. magic. Stick, doesn't have detect, detect magic. yeah. No, I don't have anything like no. that. No. no. Well, I guess. I mean, if we can wait a day. If we're keeping the house, it's fine. Yeah, we should wait a day, right? And it'll be fine. Um, I guess. I mean, even though it is protected by a glyph, uh, that doesn't mean it's like impossible to circumvent. Right? Like, there's been. It glyphs are scary, though. <laughs> like, you all know this. Like, it's still very much possible. It's just hard. I'm gonna try. Of course you are. Okay, wait. Back wait. This is lock picking now, not investigation. Correct. Yeah. I'll fucking help if I can. How would you go about? How are you gonna help me? Picking a lock. That is a very... If it's a multi-pin thing, like you need three pins, he's holding one and she has two tools with the other hand. Like if it's a really, I don't know. I feel like I it would know. just be in the way more than it would be helping. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I'm just gonna What's get to a, a straight roll here. Okay. No advantage. Okay. Okay. If I can't help, I want a ready in action to push her out the fucking way when it explodes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, fine. that's a good one. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, so it's the roll, and then so, uh, it just it just the same stats. She would give a stealth check. Yeah. Okay. Dex dexterity and proficiency. Dex your proficiency and, and proficiency. Yeah. I think for okay, cool. means stealth, because you're proficient in stealth, right? Yeah. I am. Yeah, I think so. she's also... Is Kess sleight of hand proficient? I'm also sleight of hand yeah, proficient, so yeah. Of those. Okay, cool. Um, 24. As you begin entering your thieves' souls, mm. you notice the glyph immediately like begins to light up in anticipation. But due to uh, how, flu you know, how fluently the lock opens... You managed to trick the glyph into thinking that you actually inserted the, the appropriate key, and it doesn't. It doesn't. Hey. Winning! I'm the best. And inside the chest, you find a bunch of shit. Actually. Ooh. Literal shit. Uh, this is her shit chest. You find. Ew. It's the shit chest. Ew. You find thirteen hundred gold pieces. Oh, oh. shit. Mm hmm. So like, uh, wait, 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 but not weird Barovia gold, no, no, actual no, gold. Just actual gold. Oh, shit. So Brooks and Kess yeah. 300 gold pieces, if anyone asks. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think um, so dumb. Find five rather large gemstones, each with a value of 250 gold pieces. 
Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Um, I'm assuming you're writing all this down, Bell, so I don't have to. Obviously. <laughs> nice. Cool. That's the gem hoarder. <laughs> you find a vial. Uh, with inside of it is a clear gelatinous oil, and it sparkles with tiny, ultra thin silver shards. Ooh, Ooh. that sounds gelatinous oil. Mm -hmm. Sparkling. Uh, pass it to Jackson; so, so. he will identify it. Smile. Okay, uh, I'll do that. Oil of sharpness. Okay, oh. I mean, I won't know that for ten minutes, but okay. Mm -hmm. uh, two spell scrolls. Uh, I'll... In the chest as well. Um, you know, written in Jax like will... arcane runes and language mm -hmm. that I don't really. Jax will spend the next thirty minutes identifying things. No, we're going to be in this house for Uh, one scroll. You know, once you identify, happens. One scroll is a scroll of mass cure wounds. The That's other scroll hog. is a scroll of revivify. <sighs> okay, someone. Oh. Someone hit right, just for the sake of my brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a caster to use these spells, technically, right? Uh, oh. Hold on. I think you have oh, to have no. the... I believe you have to be ability to cast magic. Yeah. To use Okay. Them. But do you I have... Believe. I know, I, no, no, I think... Um, I don't know how it works. I... I, I hold. I think... Um, if the spell is on your class's spell list, you can read the scroll and cast a spell without providing any components. Um... <clears throat> Otherwise, the scroll is unintelligible. Um, if your spell, if the spell is only a class of spell is but a higher level, you need to make an ability check. So you, you can't. It has to be. It has to, to be on your. You spell have to be list. a caster. It has to be on your spell list. Okay. Okay. Huh. I mean, no, because <laughs> for you, Koiba, that's a that's a diamond free revivify. Yeah, that's why I said. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Is, uh, okay. A and also, component. it's a uh, it's a uh, component free. I'm pretty sure it's coming from masculine wounds, which I tell yeah. you can't cast yet. So that's pretty fucking poggers. Um... Uh, you'll have a DC to cast that. That's fine. It's probably based mm. on my wisdom, which is ridiculously high. Mm. You also there's, there's, there's more. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, this is like a, a good little treasure hoard. Um, <laughs> you see a polished agate. Uh, a G. As in like. Agate, you know, like the gem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the gem. Which has like this, this, this bluish aura surrounding it. Oh, we identify that too. Uh, a stone of good luck. Ooh. Oh, that sounds fun. Requires, a, it requires have... a tournament, but while this polished agate is on your person, you gain a plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws. I think Brooks already has one of those. I'm pretty yeah. sure I already Brooks have one. Brooks already of those. has one. Yeah, so Brooks will recognize it. Like, oh, I got one of those. Uh, you know what lastly, that is? I've got one of those. Lastly, you find uh, a set of pipes, as in like music instruments. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, which you also get the sense like, yeah, these are magical. Give them to Jax, baby. We're having a short rest here. Yeah, yeah. one short rest you can at this point. Uh, right. so are... Everyone but Jax, because he's doing shit, yeah. so yeah, he doesn't yeah. get a short rest. These are pipes of haunting. Uh, oh, must be we have these with wind instruments to use these pipes. They Ooh, have three charges, uh, and when you play them, you expend the charge to create an eerie spellbinding tune. Each creature within thirty feet of you that hears you play must succeed a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you for one minute. Did we have these last campaign? No, something very similar. Um, uh, believe it or not, Brooks can't play wind instruments. There you go. I'll show you. Don't require a tombs or anything. They're just like a little, little gimmick. You, <laughs> yeah. And that's it. That is that is all that's in the chest. There's a lot of lot of good shit. What the fuck is that? Can anyone play wind instruments? Um, I can't anymore. As in you, you could previously. Well, no, I wanted to try. I can play. I could play the drums before pretty well, but now I can't. You can play the drums well in a corpse. I could. What is that? So none of us play the scary pan flute. Uh oh! I uh, actually do play the pan flute. It's the only instrument I play. <laughs> are these? Are these? 
Specifically, pan flutes, aren't they? Uh, well, they're they're they're, they're pipes, uh, and they just require proficiency in wind instruments. To... Yeah, there you go. Do you have proficiency I... in wind instruments? Yeah. No, Where I have proficiency in the pan flute, which is a wind instrument. I don't think proficiency in wind instruments. Yeah, is it? I only have proficiency in stringed instruments. Oh, you were gonna say screaming. <laughs> that <laughs> no. too. She's very. But she is proficient that. in that. I have proficiency in screaming. I'm so glad your mic cut off. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, Aranya can also play the flute. Well, there you go. So Aranya can use them as well. Yeah, so there's just a little, little bonus action to try and scare some motherfuckers. Nice. Uh, that is sort of good luck. Material. Uh, a bunch of money, some gems that are pretty expensive, and two pretty pogger spell scrolls. That is not a bad haul. And not a bad What's the name of the flute? Uh, Pipes of haunting. The oil. And it's... an oil of sharpness. Yes. Sharpness, so it's for bladed things. Yes. I'm assuming, assuming he can't apply oil to the fucking sun sword. <laughs> uh, oil can uh. to one slashing or piercing weapon, and that is not a slashing or piercing weapon, because that is a radiant damage. Technically, that okay. is not. I mean, I could put it on daggers, but I feel like the best person for that is going to be around you. Yeah. And for then... me? Rapier, yeah. Rapier is... Do any of you I have fuckers? one rapier and one dagger. There we go. So you've got an oil of sharpness. Okay. Is that? I uh, can I find that in? Yeah, yeah. Need to be on the yeah. thing. Okay. Well, it can and then one do any of you a weapon or up to five pieces of ammo. Applying oil, the oil takes one minute, and then for one hour, the coded item is magical and has a plus three bonus to attack and damage. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's purple. And then it's do any of you motherfuckers want a want a lock stone? Because I've already got one. What's it do? Uh, put it in my quiver. Plus one to ability checks and saving throws. I mean, I, I, think, I think it's just saving throws, isn't it? No, it's ability checks and saving throws. Oh, ability ability I will not yeah. say no to something like that. It is attunement, I think. That's absolutely fine. I've got a spare. I already have one. I have a spare place for a attunement. Slot. Yo, look at us all rocking luck stones. Yeah. We're just some lucky boys. <laughs> and then me and Cass divide the money equally between well, us. Between <laughs> yourselves, right? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, oh, but yeah. think about the practicality, though. If you like, it's not like you can just very quickly within minutes move one thousand three hundred gold coins yeah, one, into your belongings. Two. Like you can't really do that yeah. stealthily when we're all in a room in a oh, small okay. house. Just yeah, yeah. it but, is but, a but joke. Like and, it uh, is the a time joke. That it takes, including all the the um, identifying and stuff. We'll say that if you want, you can you can take a short rest in the meantime. Heck we'll yeah. That. Okay. I don't think what I get anything cool? back. Like, but... Stone of good luck. Let, let's be stone realistic. Of good luck. That's why I can't find it. Brooks would have sleight of handed three gold, but only because then it makes it impossible for everyone to divide, and that's fucking funny. <laughs> that's why fair. Would you, also, why would you do that to Mr. Money Counter? Exactly. That's exactly why that's he did not... it. <laughs> so now uh, we're going to give him 1,297 gold and tell him to divide it equally. Capaldi doesn't like that. You're an asshole. No, he doesn't. An asshole. <laughs> <laughs> right, so while, uh, I mean, 1,297 gold. I mean, if the Lazarin's like struggling to make equal, but like, I can take it's... a smaller amount since you know I won't need it to buy things. No, no. Like, he's the money man. I'm sure he can do this in a perfectly fair way. Divide by seven. So we, I mean, <laughs> we all get 185 gold. Okay. Yay. And then you have two pieces of gold spare. <laughs> I mean, so that goes, for to, that me? goes to the divider. <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, finder's fee. <laughs> yeah, you're right. For who me? unlocked? No, no who I, unlocked the fucking chest? I think Kess gets that for, the... for risking her life. You're right. I give her chest. one of the two extra gold. I'll just pickpocket the other one later. It's fine. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <laughs> so everybody, mark is that, is that... Pouches. everybody, mark up. I've watched you enough. 185 yeah, gold. Choose. I'm gonna mark 186. 186. <laughs> I feel like we need to get a Lazarin to mark his gold so that we can have a competition of who can pickpocket the most of him. That would be mark my gold. It'll just really be the funny. shiny coins, lol. Yeah, it'd be the ones that the are Lazarin nice. Just say lol in <laughs> no, it was out of character. <laughs> just be the shiny coins, lol. I will um start shining the coins I just got. Right. Mm -hmm. part of this That's long rest. That's your short rest activity. <laughs> yeah, my short rest. Sorry, short rest activity. 
Okay. Uh, whilst I will... Can I attune to Luxon at the same time whilst I'm shining my god? Uh, sure. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks, uh, Puppy. Don't call me okay. Brooks is gonna Puppy. take a little bit of uh, hit die and then also drink. Uh, Did um, you give a thousand the spell scrolls? The PM yes. ones are cool. I give you, yeah, I give you the spell scrolls. Cool. Um, uh, let me just quickly customize to write down what spells these are. So, fucking. Mask of Runes is a uh, fifth level, right? Fifth level, yeah. Okay. Cool. That's gone. Oh, I had caps lock on, so my thing is the old one. Wait, right. All your scrolls are yelling. Why are you yelling? <laughs> okay. No, other, other round, it's very, like, just recently. Very so small. It's like, small. It's like, mask. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds fun. <sighs> Most cool wounds. Yeah, be. All right. Other than that, uh, besides this weird, seemingly just kind of like programmed illusion, uh, if you will, sitting there. Yeah, it's fucking uh, bizarre. <laughs> there's not much else in this, in this place. You kind of turn it inside out. Okay. Uh, I will. Can we fuck off with the house? Fuck yeah. You can try. I'm going to try it. I'm going to start <laughs> drinking an unlabeled <laughs> bottle of fruit wine and offer some to Aranya. I will sniff it. <laughs> does it pass a sniff test? I don't know. Does it, it DM? What it should I roll? Orange and mango. <laughs> this is one that Brooks made. Oh. I'll try it. Does it kill me? Oh. <laughs> is it delicious? Try it. I rode pretty high on this one. <laughs> like, you know, especially for something, you know, homemade. Pretty good. After the, uh, made. after the first taste sip, Aranya will take a bigger swig than you would have thought. <laughs> and then pass it back after yeah. looking at the bottle for a second. It has been a rough day. Okay. Um, so it allows me to try and control the house. Four years? Yeah. You can try and move it. I'm gonna try and and I will actually touch the stone because I have confidence in it now. <laughs> uh, it's gonna kill me. the house. As you touch the stone, yeah, your I vision kind of goes. Oh Jesus Christ! Crazy, and you become you the house. Kind of like, <laughs> your vision is kind of like sent to a point like above the hut, and you just kind of begin willing the hut to move in a direction, and it just goes. That's. Fucking go! <laughs> and you can see well, like the roots. Him, all, as it's you move, direction. as you move the huts like far, far enough away, the roots kind of just, like snap and pull out of the ground, and it really just give this like looks as if it's just it's these large like spider legs just kind of creepy crawling. That's cool. I feel like we should probably warn people before we turn up in this. You're nah, warning. screw it. <laughs> You can hear, you just can't see because your vision is, yeah, you know, that's house vision. I, I can, I can live with that. If I was deaf and blind, I'm like, I'm never going to see again. Shenanigans will happen to me. Shenanigans. <laughs> no, you can still hear. I'm number, number one, is, uh, number one victim of shenanigans here. I'm gonna, okay. I'm just gonna gently touch him on the shoulder and see if he's it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why would you do that, to Perks? I can't see. The house just Sorry. drops. <laughs> How do you fucking know it was me, dickhead? Oh, you, I could tell by your arms. You got, you're, you're, you're a muscly man. There's no other man with muscles like you. <laughs> this is the start of the fanfic, boys. Let's go. The start. This is chapter four. Chapter um, four. Yeah, but you, you've beaten Bubbly Saga. You've looted her hut. You've stolen her hut. You're joyriding her hut right now. Yeah, yeah. Joy -riding. And Joy -riding you've got your hands on uh, the Tome of Strahd. Which, uh, you know. We're not a very obvious target. Moving around in a giant. Oh no, because they'll think we're the scary <laughs> hag lady, and who fucks with her? She's she's well, running true. around right. at the speed. Of a lot of people I mean, were running away from her. The... Do we want to fucking investigate and read this tome while we're you know in a moving house and hard to fucking? I can I can probably read it because I have magic that lets me read. Everything. Aranya is very curious and will uh, sit with Kess and. If you do read, just can assist you read out loud, if necessary, please? or yeah. 
listen. Stop loud reading, please. Um, story time. I, I can't see it, so. Before you, you need it. a little bedtime story. Um, yes, please. Before okay. Kess reads wait, it. Wait, wait. Before we get too far, we need to go tell the lady. Hold on. The person that we saw on the way in. And we oh, should pick her up because uh, the group Muriel. was looking for her. Muriel. Muriel. Yes. We should go pick up Muriel in the house. She might run away from this house. Well, we can stick our heads up so we can be like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Someone's standing I can, I can, like, I can That's fly out ahead of us. That's not at all. The house of your enemy with the heads of the people you last saw sticking out of it. I can fly out ahead of us, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, I'll you do that. I'll go. What's the speed of house, Okay. Judge? What's the speed <laughs> of house? <laughs> Moving at the speed of house. Just speed of house. Just, of house. Uh, just there's a thirty feet more speed. It's walking oh. house. It walks at walking speed. It walks at walking speed. Yeah. Unless you're uh, a gnome. Um... I wanted to zoom. <laughs> it's not a gnome. It's a house. <laughs> it's so, not a gnoblin. It's a house. You uh, do you go <clears throat> chat to uh, Muriel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna fly out and kind of mm -hmm. zip. Down to when she get when we get close enough to like see her. Okay, uh, with oh where she was. Uh, Babali Saga, by the way, like the fog is there still of a layer of fog, but it's a lot less dense. It's a lot easier to see. And Muriel looks kind of weary when she sees this like <laughs> shade of a house moving around, and then you approach and hello. Um, we won. <laughs> She's dead. Say. We stole a house. I can tell. Um, <laughs> you wanna? Well, you wanna ride? We no. thought. We thought we'd give you a lift. No, your friend. I'm yeah, fine. I'll poke my head out. But like your friends were were missing you. They probably want to know you're okay. So tell them I'll be all right. Unless you wanna. Um, I'm going to snoop around the village a little bit now that the threat has gone. See if I can find Fair anything enough. useful for us. But um, do you find she didn't you have really anything like... good on her. Hmm. I said she didn't have anything good on her. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Fine. Um, did we you find what you were looking for? Toenails and mush. Yes, we did. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, that's very good. Um, tell them that I'll be back in, in a few days at max. Um, you got it. Like a day or two. Understood. Are you going to bring that house all the way to Malaki? <laughs> yes. Close. Probably. Maybe, maybe not like right up to the gates or anything. Might want to oh, mean... send someone ahead to warn them in case because they might attack. On site. I'll I'll do this again, and just go ahead as I've I got that it. completely covered. He says from outside <laughs> and from afar. What if we decorate the house from the outside so it looks <gasps> clearly there's under new ownership? Well, no, then it defeats the purpose of making it look scary to ward off others who might fuck just with us. just find them. You know, just just just. just I'll um I'll, I'll go ahead and make sure everyone is aware that it's just done. With yes, a new... Yes, you don't need to do that. I can I can send a message. I can. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. You can do that bullshit. You don't have to. <laughs> okay. Are uh, you going to be okay getting back to Valaki? You're going to turn into a bird or some shit? Yes. <laughs> Probably. Are you going to turn into a bird or some shit? I can indeed <laughs> turn into a bird or some shit, and I'll... Uh, make sure that some, just fine. Of Olimor, That's bird, pretty cool. Some shit. <laughs> I, can, I can do that too, but not. it's not <laughs> as easy. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> okay. Have fun. You too. Scavenging. I will. Oh, oh yeah, fly back up. You kill me. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking kill me, bro. I mean, last time you guys spoke to her, she was also, she just doesn't really give a fuck. Yeah, though. but you already yeah. fucking hit her with the, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, isn't that's that how crazy, most bro. NPCs would react to cast? Just like, yeah. Cool. That's crazy. I'm gonna call mm. you someone and leave. Literally, Kess is the embodiment of like, you go, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so you are now, I guess, headed towards Valaki. Um, While they fuck with that, I have a. Oh, I'm gone. Uh, I mean, Jackson Brooks get Tom out and wait for Kess to come back and read it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna come back and read. First things first. Brooks is gonna touch it with his bare hand. Ew. That's fine. Um, Just to make sure that nothing bad's gonna happen. That is fine. You, um... You I open don't it? like where this is going. You just touch yes. It. Okay. As you open it, uh, you can see that there is... 
a um, like a table of contents, uh, and it's divided into uh, two kind of like. There is first just a big heading that says life, and then prologue, youth, chapter one, the battle of Argnishnevolt, uh, chapter two, the rise of Ravenloft, chapter three, brothers in arms, chapter four, Tatiana, chapter five, the unholy communion, chapter six, wedding bells, and then death, chapter seven, the corruption of Yesterhill, chapter eight, the heart of the old gods, chapter nine, mm -hmm. the march of the dawn, chapter ten, the legacy of Vasily von Holtz. Chapter 11, The Final Dusk. Chapter 12, A Soul's Return. Epilogue, A Lord's Rest. Uh, Man's whole biography. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, it's in common, right? Yes. <laughs> fuck it. I ain't gonna read any further. Kess really wanted to read it. I don't know fuck if it's in common or not. I'll wait. Okay. I wanted to touch Kess? it and... Let's, uh, yeah. I wanted to touch let's, it and make sure it wasn't going to kill anyone. What's Kess going to read? Um, what do we want to read first, guys? Prologue. Start from the beginning. It's always the way it, it makes the most sense. Front read back. it back to front. I knew back to front. Elazarin says read it back to front. Here we go. No, okay. you know, I meant front to back. That's what I meant. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to control the house here. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to control the house. I will turn this thing around right now. Um, <laughs> Don't lie to me, Pickle. Turn this up around. Uh, I'll I'll start at the prologue. Okay. And as you leave through the pages, uh, some are torn, some are flooded, some branded with unknowable symbols, and others still artfully scribed with murky black ink. The tale is long and written in a series of foreign scripts, save the first page in front of you, which transforms before your eyes into common. It says, I, Strahd, Lord of Barovia, well aware certain events of my reign have been desperately misunderstood by those who are better at garbling history than recording it, hereby set down an exact record of those events that the truth may, at last, be known. Pages begin to flutter as you go towards the prologue, and mist begins to pour from the binding, and you all begin to feel lightheaded. Oh. Your vision fades, oh. and from the blackness oh, no, now I surrounding didn't. you, a hungry fog rolls around. Oh. You shout, and there's nothing. The mist chokes closer. A man clad in a black cloak and regal red tunic looks at you through the cloud with a stern face and piercing eyes. Mm. He steps towards you with the grace of a king. Your eyes meet his cold glare as he bears down on you. Um, and he says... I am the Ancient, I am the land. My beginnings are lost in the darkness of the past. The visage of the man disappears into a black and red cloud, before reforming into a young boy, no older than twelve, with a small sword at his side and tears streaming down his cheeks. The mist recedes further, revealing a well-adorned, sunlit castle courtyard. The low buzz of insects and humidity add weight to the summer air. Hanging on the ramparts overhead are red banners depicting the same raven iconography cast in metal on the cover of the tome. The boy that stood before you moments ago now sits atop a small set of stairs leading to a wooden door. From beyond it, you can hear a distant but bolsters laughter. You seem to have been transported to the time and place this chapter describes. Uh. So you can't necessarily don't know if you can like interact with people, but you are kind of just walking through the chapter as it happened mm. and has been written down okay so you're in you're in a faraway land uh, a kingdom that stood long before the country of barovia was founded this is Strahd's childhood home just after the young prince had completed a training session with his father's advisor rahadin they have some quiet time to meet the future lord under the guise of being his imaginary friends the courtyard you're in is walled in on four sides but uh, by 30 foot tall uh, stone walls there are ten-foot-tall wooden double doors set on the east, south, and west walls. The boy seated on the stairs is a young Strahd, taking a short rest from his sword training with Rahadin. His father's attendants um, has bested him and currently reported are currently reporting back to King Barov. Uh, just beyond the northern door, as you kind of get... Uh, 
you feel kind of just like the urge to kind of go towards the northern Keep door. Going. It just kind of you kind of feel like you're being forcefully railroaded, for lack of better terms, through like how this chapter is written. Yeah. Um, and and you make your way to a door. Uh, the door seems to be locked. Um, do you hear on the other side some loud speaking? Um, and try and make. Sure. Well, actually, doesn't Cass have like ridiculous passive perception? Yeah, I have like a 22, 21. Okay. As you get close to the door, you can hear uh, Lord Barrow. 23. Uh, you can hear Lord Barrow requesting from Rahadin to push Strahd harder. Barrow wants him mm. to be a great, powerful ruler one day. And then you also hear Rahadin respond in turn, informing King Barrow that the prince is still far too young to lead and that he is brash, foolish, foolish and overzealous. Um, and then suddenly you hear a voice behind you. Oh. Hello? And as you all turn around, you can see young Strahd looking at you. Oh, no. Can I help you? Are you ready to visit my dad? Uh, Aranya has their hand on the hilt of their rapier, but they're frozen. Yeah. Who, who might you be, I'm Strat little boy? From Prince Strat from Zarevich. Oh, what an honor! It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your names? Davian. <laughs> Julius. All right, don't be shy. Come on. I I panic. <laughs> And I'm 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 gonna hide in Cass's body. I'm, I'm, I, I just anxiety reaction. Sorry, I I was very shell shocked to meet you. Um, I'm Lydia. Lydia. Um, you got Julius. Julius. Um, Davian said his name, right? Yes. Yeah. Davian, does does any does do the others not have names? It's okay. If your if your guess is my dad, I mean, nothing. I'm just, we are. I'm slowly backing away. He doesn't talk very much. Ignore him. More the muscle than the. Uh, <laughs> so he's kind of he's kind of sits down and just kind of kicking his feet up and down, waiting for whatever ha is happening in the office. <sighs> Hear him like like audibly sigh. It's like kind of. You okay? Back. No. No. What's what's wrong? Well they keep saying I'm I'm you know I'm meant to become this big lord of this castle and my mother thinks I'm gonna be great and my my father, King Barov, um thinks I can, but I have a lot of work to do. And it's I'm just very nervous needing to live up to those expectations and my teacher, Rahadin, is just difficult and pushes me really hard. And then my mother is also pregnant with a boy. Uh, they're going to call him Sergey, And um, she says it'll be my job to teach Sergey everything I know. But I don't, I don't feel like I, I know anything yet. I feel like you have the potential to go above and beyond the expectations of you. You seem like a bright young fellow. That's a lot to put on such a small... I give Kess, like, such a fucking, like, dirty look, like... <laughs> hey, man, I'm just trying to get out of this alive. <laughs> uh, as you kind of finish this conversation, the door just swings open, and you can see uh, Rahadin stepping out, not looking at you at all, seemingly doesn't see you. Uh, just approach Strahd and says, Boy! Back to training. And they both walk down the stairs. And then oh, a similar the like black void surrounds you again. And you hear the same voice that you heard in the beginning before you entered this chapter. Yet that pass is now filled only with regret. And you get transported back to the inside of the hut. Um Bell has a brother. Ooh. <laughs> I would like you to uh -oh, set it in check. That's, uh, no. This was a pretty peaceful oh. chapter. It was chill. 
Um, oh, good. <laughs> implying due, the others not so much. Due to the way the scripts kind of like changed before your eyes, uh, that left an imprint on you, uh, you are now oh. able to cast Illusory Scripts as a ritual spell once per dusk. Oh, that's cool! Ooh. You know, maybe that maybe that'll make up for the insanity that we'll be uh, <laughs> suffering down the line. Yo, you guys got any sanity points to spare? Because I sure fucking don't. Well, I can cast uh, a cool yeah, spell every dusk. That's the that thing. None of us the, know how many uh, we have to spare. That, that was the prologue. The prologue. Also, Oof. also, question: When mm -hmm. the fuck is it dusk here? <laughs> Always. Say rules, man. I just said, used to that just bullshit. Once, once a day, motherfuckers. Yeah. All right, relax. Jesus. But it replenishes at night rather yeah. than in the morning. Yeah. So things we've learned: he maybe has or had a brother. Maybe that'll be helpful. So good. He was. And... He had a lot of shit put on him at very young. That's bound to maybe, mess up a maybe person. Maybe resentment for his trainer as well. Mm, and I mean. Mm, I mean, yeah. a lot of you know, it's a lot of pressure. But people under immense pressure don't always become you know, demonic mass murderers who co-opt a whole dimension. This yeah, bit of I mean, fuck, I know, no. but fuck you know, that shit. we know that fucking Rahadin was, you know, back in the old fucking days mm -hmm. when Stroud was a kid, and now he's still about. Yeah, but time's weird. Yeah, here, Rahadin is, is the name you got given uh, yeah, yeah, of the guy, the guy that came that to pick took... up Brooks's brother. Yeah. So it seemingly is now yeah, um, his, yeah, like his Brooks... like, right hand man. Like Strahd's right hand man, yeah. So Rahadin's still around. Yeah, Brooks is oh. very aware of this. Mm -hmm. I, I mean... think it takes a large a second to like remember that, like the name, so like takes a second to go into like and goes, Oh, <laughs> like, he looks at Brooks like, oh! <laughs> oh, oh, that guy. <laughs> yes. Right. Brooks, sorry, like, names are confused. The Brooks moment. looks panicked. I'd yes, quite like I to go into the next chapter. I mean, yes. Before we go to the next chapter, I should probably... Hmm. Has the house been moving this whole time since we're in that, like... No, it kind of stopped when, when you got mind. Okay, when well, my brain, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, then... We can move on. I just make sure that I tried to make sure we weren't, uh, you know. Don't want to walk off point, like, or something. You'll have yeah. probably left the like village, and you're now like yeah. in the woods, just like slowly going north. I will. Whilst we've just got a second as well, I will cast sending. Okay. To <laughs> the uh the tavern keeper. Hmm, the yeah, the tavern keeper. Whose name fucking is... name? Oh. Fuck if I know, bro. Fucking, I can't write that shit down. <laughs> That's a shame. Nice. Can I remind him? It is. Oh God! What the fuck is that guy's name? Which guy? The tavern oh, keeper's oh. name. The, the fucking. I have Mr. It. Mr. 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 Suck me off. Martikov is the last name. Markov. I was gonna say I have Mar Martikov written down. We have two Martikovs. We have. I know. The, the barkeep the, and the his father winery. Man winery. And the, <laughs> yeah. True. Come on, Alasrian. Come on. Uh, that's fine. You can, you can, you can cast. Bro, my you, can, you can cast sending and names are bad for me. Okay, I can barely fuck. His name is Marty Martikov. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Martikov himself with the barkeep variety. Okay. And I it. will say to him, it's, uh, it's Irwin, isn't it? The fucking. We are. Oh, there oh we, go. we are. On our way back, we stole the hag's house. <coughs> don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Please let the guards know so they don't shoot at it or whatever. Everything's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> and it probably cuts off halfway. <laughs> uh, it is that. Everything is way, don't. Irvin is his wife. <laughs> Ethan? Yes. My it, it wife. Is, it is Danica. Irwin is, 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 the, is the wife. And the fucking oh, the dad's name is it? It's not Davian, but it's really fucking similar. Da it's Davian, right? but with an A instead. Of Davian with an A. Oh, yeah. 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 Davian yeah. with an A. Yeah. Davion. Like Davian. Um, yeah, but uh, you get a message back, just kind of. Okay, I'll make <laughs> sure the gods know. He's. He says he's gonna make sure the gods know. 
Awesome. Should we go to the next one? Yeah. I, mm, maybe one of us should be in a different room. Why? There's only one room in this place. This is like a one room thing. <laughs> Maybe one of us should get out just in case. We're in a studio apartment here, so literally. I... Who would you like to get out? <laughs> Brooks, do you um, want Brooks? Are you scared by this? Do are the stories a little too scary for you? Is it too I'm high a reading for you? I will. Too many big words. I will beat you to death with your own gold. <laughs> well then. I sort of look at him and I'm like. I want to say a comeback, but I'm there like, there's a small chance in Asa's brain that like, thinks he might be serious. <laughs> He's like, there's no smirk. Yeah, you can, you like, can see that I'm about to like a, you know, smart ass witty retort and just go, fair enough. I just don't like the idea of everyone being in a fucking yeah, that's, that's, shared that's, vision. It's fair it's, enough. It's fair I, enough. I'm not going to lie, it would be very funny if you do go outside and are still in the vision though. <laughs> I'm it would be forward. very. Typical. The house is, the house is on the ground right now, right? It's walking. Aye, aye. Yeah. <laughs> it do be walking. It'd, it'd be walking. Like, <laughs> stop the house. I stop it. I have the vision. I'll sit on the fucking ground right in front of the house. Okay. Sounds like a plan. And you can all fucking tell me what happens. Okay, so read on. I will continue. <laughs> all right. With next chapter next. is uh, chapter one, the Battle mm -hmm. of Arginvostholt. And again, once you begin reading, uh, this blackness and mist almost to the point of choking you, and this man clad in a black cloak and regal red tunic looking at you again. So, which, does any did any one of you leave the? the right. Brooks is outside. Okay. I, I'm there, but I'm in like visually, I'm yeah. in Kess's. I'm like body at the doorway. Um, Dutch checking the range on this piece of shit. You know, it's 30 feet, and this house is not that big, so you might still get sucked in, Loki, little bro. Um, so yeah, no, you suck, get sucked in regardless, Brooks. Oh, um, fuck! So again, this, this, this shape appears before you. Uh, stern face, piercing eyes, the regal red tunic, and a black cloak. And he says, I was the warrior. I was good and just. I thundered across the land like the wrath of a just god. And you find yourselves standing at a table with Strahd and his two closest advisors, Rahadin and somebody, uh, a woman that you don't know. Um, and they are mounting an offensive uh, to remove the order of the silver dragon from the land party uh, appears alongside them but you are clad in soldier garments um you are wearing these this is like this like armor with um the same like raven iconography that you've seen all over the place uh, so you seem to be taking the place of uh lieutenants in strad's army uh, you're wearing illusory suits of plate armor emblazoned with the von zarevich crest uh as the army marches on, um, one of you needs to take on the role of commander. No, nope. which one of you wants to take that? Do we get a like? We get a choice in. <laughs> in <laughs> well, I'm asking you as players, because for the sake of this, one of you has to like take on the role. Thirty, thirty-three. Should. Sure. I was, <laughs> if it's, if it's, okay. I was, okay. I was yeah. gonna. I was gonna say that we should roll for it. of the commander. So he's kind of like in charge of, of your group in this uh, in this <laughs> scenario. He did, a, shot in the face. did a little wiggling um, dance with everything. Yeah. Can you piss first? Yes. <laughs> sure, man. If you piss fast. Real quick. Um, hmm? Like the wind. Into the wind. But not into the wind. As the mist <laughs> gathers once more, uh, the mist coalesces into um, the uh, <clears throat> Jesus, the man you saw in the previous chapter, not aged a day. The chatter of voices and the clanking of metal sing from outside the walls of, of the enormous tent. Um, its primary occupant is a colossal rectangular table, atop which is carved an intricate scale map of the lands of Barovia. 
The model mountains climb nearly five feet high, uh, and valleys sink deep into the tabletop. You see a man to your right, who does not appear dissimilar to a young boy you met at his home one summer afternoon. He now stands clad in scarlet armor adorned with angelic feathers etched in gold leaf. He gestures across the table. Uh, and now I kind of need to wait for Duke. No. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. What a fucking... Pause man. button. <clears throat> Pause. So yeah, guys, check out Call of the Netherdeep on Lower K for <laughs> Andrew's channel, YouTube channel. Oh, imagine needing to piss. Just get a draw like everyone else. Did you get a draw? <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't oh, make me band. remember the fucking piss draw shit. <laughs> The what? Hey, baby, you want to come over oh and see you the show? Did you guys miss out on this era of the internet? Why no, did I you don't this... need it? Remind wow, me of I that. Uh, it's a viral <laughs> image of a three-year-old boy in a Batman costume crying because his mother found the drawer he'd been urinating in. Ew, oh my god. That's awful. Alright, Duke's back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Yeah, so uh, you're, you're you're standing at this like big table and Looking on at the battle table map. there's this like battle map, very detailed battle map of the lands of Barovia. Uh, and Strahd uh, gestures to the man on his right, so not uh, uh, Rahadid, but not the other Rahadid. person. Uh, or the woman, I mean, sorry. Uh, the table is yours. And she will uh, kind of begin to say, um, actually, hmm. Aranya. Do I know this person? I want you to make a history check. Ooh. Ooh. It's your childhood best it's friend. It's not that good, <laughs> so... It's your mother. <laughs> of course, I get a natural 19. That's a 21. Okay. Uh, you notice that um, you recognize the area this is in. Uh, Argenvost Holt is a castle. Is the castle that you traveled past on the way to Berez, on that large mountain that you kind of like traveled under. So, funnily enough, location-wise, you're in a very similar spot as where you were when you started reading this chapter. <laughs> you're, you're in that area of, of Barovia. Um... But the uh, information you get given by uh, this this trio of, 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 of commanders, you know, Lord Strahd, Commander Gwilwern, and Commander uh, Rahadin, um, they state that the Order of the Silver Dragon is proud and plans to fight rather than be starved out of their castle. The castle itself sits on a high cliff overlooking a valley, and the knights will have nowhere to go but down towards the village. Um, the village of Zmei... Uh, is inhabited by mostly commoners, so we'll not stand in the way, uh, and we will do what we can to protect them. Uh, Lord General Strahd will hold the rear of the forces from the village of Smey. Uh, Commander Rahadin will hold the base of the hill and monitor the tree line to ensure we are not routed. And Commander uh, Gwilin will ride up the hill to the castle to challenge the remaining forces directly. And now they look at you, Duke. Mm -hmm. Commander Davian. That's me. What will you do? Defend Lord Strahd at the back line? Or follow Rahadin to hold the base of the hill? Or would you like to follow Alexandra up the hill into the castle? Surely we can't change anything by answering wrong, because this is the, like a memory. It's just a vision. You, you would so. think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My guess maybe. is it's we just if we choose wrong, bad things happen. Maybe we should just fall it and fall. Do I remember and... which way it went? We'll I mean, it, it, go with Alexandra. Do I have any knowledge of that? It, there you it go. Doesn't really matter. It, it's just commander answered. Yeah, traveling with Alexandra, and they all agree. And then the conversational chatter of uh, of the camp builds to a roar. You blink, and you're now standing amid a quaint farming village. Many of the other buildings wreathed in flame. Dozens of soldiers adorned with ravens are locked in combat against knights in silver and blue armor. Strahd sits atop a uh, stocky black mare, pointing his blade forward and shouts, Advance! And he does so. Uh, a javelin strikes his side and he's knocked, off, he's knocked to the ground ahead of you. You see Rahadin and Alec galloping off toward their post, unaware that their lord has fallen. You decided 
charge through the front line with Alexandra. Uh, so you go in ahead. Uh, you are met with some resistance from other defensive forces. Battle rages on around you. Uh, Strat soldiers are locked blade to blade with knights in silver and blue, and the terrain disadvantage quickly becomes evident because you're fighting uphill. Um, the enemy forces begin to roll large stones downhill towards you guys. Um, oh. I need you all to make dexterity saving throws. I don't because I'm in Kess's yeah. body. 23. 19. 18. 14. And this is uh, an effect I can see, right? Yeah, you yeah, can see the boulders rolling, 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 rolling towards you. Yeah. I got the same number. Uh, Brooks gets a 20. Jax gets a 17 because he has a minus one. Dude, you all managed to dodge these big ass boulders rolling towards you. Oh, yeah. 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 14 was enough, thank fuck. Yeah. Uh, DC was 12. They are it big boulders. We should convert yeah. and work for Strad. Uh, you managed to, to duck out of the way. Uh, when you overcome the boulders and reach the top, you encounter a powerful general. And you also know, due to your knowledge of reading this book, that this is uh, Commander Alec Willem's brother, Sir Godfrey Willem. So it seems that the commander you're following into battle, you're now locked in a battle between siblings. One on Strahd's army and one in... The, uh, okay. the... Fuck this name, dude. The Silver and Blue Guys Army. The Silver and Blue Guys Army, because who the fuck wants to say... A Silver Dragon or something. Uh, hold on. Argen Argen Vosholt. You know what I mean? That's a bit... That's a bit. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Um, Sounds like a Dutch town. No, no, it's not. I would be able to say <laughs> it if it was. You fucking dildo. Um, <laughs> Argen Vosholt. And this man is wielding a silver short sword. Hilt sculpted to resemble a silver dragon with wings, and uh, the pommel shaped like the dragon's head, clutching a black opal between its teeth. Um, and the three guards responsible for leveraging the boulders down the hill accompany him into battle. You fight, and as you fight, a river of blood flows down the enemy's silver silvered sword, lying idly in the mud. A divine cacophony of thunderous booms beats on your eardrums. The swell of sound is followed by a cold shiver that runs the length of your spine. The oh cold my. seems to emanate from the, man from the mansion high on the hill. A blood-curdling roar rips through the air, silencing the battlefield, and your attention is drawn southward. The sun above reflects harshly off a pair of glinting silver wings and claws that crest at the turrets of the castle, and you gaze in full view of Argenvost, the silver dragon. And the mist wraps around you once again. And darkness takes you, but you hear the same voice you've heard throughout the like, beginning and ending of chapters. But the war years and the killing years wore down my soul as the wind wears stone into sand. Um, Davian. Yes, that's me. Uh -oh. Because you took on the role as... Uh, Commander, Commander. Mm. you now have the ability to cast Unseen Servant as a ritual spell once per dusk. Ooh, Ooh, we love Unseen Ooh. Servant. Oh. Uh, that's the end of the chapter. You're back in the hut and... Why do I just add manage spells? Can I just... Yeah, I think you can just add like a... Spell. In that, you make an item that gives you... Yeah, that could work as well. Oh, apparently I should have an extra spell that I just didn't add yet. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. Genius. I'm seeing my known spells for Warlock is two out of three, so I should probably... Probably figure that out. <laughs> yeah, get to it. Um, yeah, so you get the, you know, you, you've read two parts of the of the tome now. One about Strahd's, like, childhood, and then one of what seems to be his first proper battle as a lord. Uh, in a place where, coincidentally, as... Lazarin kind of gets the house moving again. You pass uh, oh, that gosh. same castle, like on top of the on top of the, oh, uh, the cliff above. Christ! You. Not a coincidence at all. So hmm? it didn't work, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I kind of noticed when you appeared there. Well, it looks like you're attached to this then, so you might as well not just outside. Yeah, you may as well come back up. Fuck's sake. 
What's next? I we guess are, we're going chapter big. two. Yeah, we do, do, we, do we do one more before we say fuck it? That's enough for today because yes. I now do we skip ahead a bit, right? I'm just no. no. <laughs> okay. Think... We, read, we read it in order. Next yeah. chapter. Okay. For the sake of my sanity. <laughs> well, you want to go back? You don't want some weird you know, time skips? Um, skip to the end. Spoilers. No. If she, I'm so you, slowly drawing my deck. Kes, once you start like leafing through, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh, he can do two out of five. There's a limit. Push it to the limit. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Wisdom saving throw. So that's 16. Oh, if 20. If, well, Oh, never mind. Okay, you're fine. Sorry. <laughs> Laura. I was going to say, if if I sense that 17. she's in distress while well, in her body, I can do the divine barrier thing again to give you a buff to the saving throw, but I don't know if I could tell. I'm fine. Yeah. It's I'm fine. It's sure. I'm, fine. Like, I'm fine. Seven. 25. Okay. Uh, you do notice that the more you read, the more kind of taxing it's, it, it gets. Um it takes a lot longer for the script because, like I like described before, it's in a bunch of different languages, all kind of intertwined, and it seems that it is you, like your mental, makes it make sense, and it, it okay. becomes a little more taxing, okay, uh, because you've already done this to two chapters, um, yeah, but you you manage to brush through. So again, darkness takes you all, and again, this shape appears before you. It's, you know, the, the black cloak, the red regal uh, costume on. And there's like this piercing look at you and this chapter, uh, chapter two, the rise of Ravenloft. My army settled in the valley, renamed for my father as we took power over the people in the name of a just God with none of a God's grace or justice. With the final resistance of the Order of the Silver Dragon suppressed, the bountiful courtyard, uh, the countryside was claimed in the name of the late great King Barolf. Too many years of Strahd's life were spent campaigning across the country with a sword in his hand and an army at his back. These long years isolated him from his family, and in his time away, he lost both his father and his dear mother. You stand just before the front gates of a curtain wall, so colossal that the largest of giant kind could pass through with ease. The wall is nearly 50 feet in height, interrupted by squared-off turrets that rise even higher. The wall is further dwarfed by the rounded towers of the keep overhead, the tallest of which soars three times the height of the gates. Weighted hooves clop across the wood of a seemingly infinite bridge behind you. You see Rahadin, Alexandra Gwilin, uh, a man named Leo Delisnia, and a man okay. called Gabriel Andral all follow behind you. Strahd has gone ahead of the rest through the castle doors with a few men to see inside and will return shortly. You are now currently standing in, in this courtyard, and you know from being in this in this chapter that this is kind of like his council of advisor, and you kind of have the freedom to move around, and they all acknowledge you and nod at you. Uh, right so you get the sense you can interact the with country. these people. <laughs> so, what would you like? Would you like to interact with any of these people, or are you just kind of? Aranya's kind of just watching. Okay, so it's, it's the, all the all the people. Okay, all the yeah, so it is uh, Rahadin, so his his right hand, uh, mm. Alexandra Gwilin, the one of the commanders that you you know that fought her own brother at uh, that castle battle, and then two people that you haven't seen mentioned in the book before, uh, Leo Delisnia yeah. and Gabriel Andrel, Gabriel Andrel. Just, just say the third one again, a bit slower. Leo Delisnia, so D I L I S. N-Y-A. Okay. Uh, I say we talk to Radahana first. You mean... Aranya's yeah. just watching for Strahd to come back. Understand. Shut up, Siri. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Is your Siri Australian? Yeah, because it's the only, it's the only one know. that recognizes my accent. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why I? That's fucking funny. Fuck, are we really gonna talk to Rahadin? I mean, 
Why not? I know it's not him, but I still feel the very strong urge to beat the man to death. Just try not to. <laughs> Thanks. I, I think it might make things more difficult. It's a vision. It might be therapeutic. I don't think so. Okay, I'll go approach him. What can I do for you? I just wanted to check how things were going. Oh, between you and me, not great. I'm sure the land here now belongs to Lord Strahd, but myself and Lysandra were aware that there is an assassin hidden amongst the forces that hopes to eliminate him. We're not sure who it is, so no eyes out. Of course. Do we have any no, no suspicion at all to who it could be or...? Well, we captured and executed a man who was in possession of a dagger commonly carried by uh, the mystical Bal Verzi Assassin's Guild, but we believe he was a decoy. Interesting. So they must was have the assumed he was going to get caught. Was the only yeah. evidence the dagger? That seems like quite a thing to execute a man for. It's a pretty intricate dagger that's... This Assassin's Guild's column can't. Do we think it might be someone very close in the inner circle? Not sure. Why? Something you know that we don't? No, just... Trying to... Make sure all possibilities are, you know, seen to. Because there might be someone inside helping, if not the true Assassin. I like an inside check on him <laughs> to see if he... I was going to he... say, make an inside check, yeah. Hey, no, well, there okay. you go. <laughs> uh, 23. Uh, he does seem to... That's the only thing he knows, but because of, you know, you're really, like, trying to read into him, you kind of... This is some weird fucky-wucky because this is a book kind of I'm magic. Close, yeah. Uh, yeah. You kind of just learn... A bit about Rahadin as a person, or Bahadin, however the fuck you say. Mm -hmm. you, you learn that he's his, Strahd's oldest mentor, advisor, and mm -hmm. servant all in one. Mm -hmm. You also learn that he slaughtered his own people at King Barov's behest because they he felt they were too weak. Uh, in the aftermath of this genocide, he was tasked with training a young Strahd in the ways of battle. You know, or you learn that he's cunning, sadistic, and perhaps even more mysterious than the Dark Lord himself. While neither would ever acknowledge this fact, Rahadin was often more of a father to Strahd than the Conqueror Barrel of ever was. Is wherever oh, Strahd cool. went in eyeshot of where we are standing? Um, yeah, like he went through a set of doors. Um, are there um, windows? Like, can, can Aranya see any hint of movement or what he might be doing in there no, or anything really. like that? Not from where you are now, okay. no. And it, it seems that, like, you're kind of bound to this courtyard for now. Mm hmm Understandable. And after you kind of, like, some very, like, meta, like, NPC shit, but after you kind of deplete his dialogue, he just kind of goes back to his pose. And... <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that. that's, that's what he does. Go to talk to him yeah. again, he just does marker the same over thing. his head disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's because, you know, you're reading a book, like, so you're, you're, you're yeah. living through shit that happened in a certain way, and you're, you're basically, you're just taking the place of other characters that were there, kind of thing. Mm. This is where we find out that, like, this is nothing magic, it's just the book had been in the fucking hag's house for so long. It <laughs> That'd be um, kind of cool. Yeah, there's other people for you to talk to, but if you don't want to, eventually, um, you know, after you've explored the courtyard... Um, Strahd emerges from the entrance of the castle again. Uh, the unnerving silence that immediately starts as soon as he emerges uh, is interrupted by the cold ring of a blade being unsheathed. Strahd clutches tightly to a red, black, and gold dagger. Uh, its finely crafted hilt leads to a sinister curved blade. 
He kneels and wrenches his left hand into the soil, returning to his feet with dirt crum crumbling from between his knuckles. He points the tip of the dagger briefly to the north, east, south, and west before plunging it into the mud cake into his mud cake palm. A mixture of dirt and blood drips as he squeezes. I am Strahd. I am the land. He repeats the mantra three more times, once in each cardinal direction, before looking to the clouds and speaking, Draw near and witness. I, Strahd, am the land. Blood and magic meet the soil, and the sky is swallowed. The courtyard vanishes. Oh, I don't like it. All goodness slipped from my life. I found my youth and strength gone, and all I had left was death. You emerge from the void. Relatable. You find yourselves <laughs> in Strahd's study. The you uh, What feeble light burns in booming fireplace is enough to fill the room with rolling waves of red and amber light. Illuminating rows and rows of ancient books, their leather covers well-oiled and preserved through careful use. Large gaps span segments of the shelves, likely left to fill in more knowledge. A stone floor is concealed beneath a thick, luxurious rug. In the center of the room is a large, low table, waxed and polished to a mirror finish. Even the poker in its stand next to the blazing fireplace is polished. A sturdy carved desk houses several scrolls of parchment, open books, and candles burnt nearly to nearly to the wick. In one of the in one of two chairs crafted of burgundy colored wood with padded leather seats that face the hearth is Strahd himself. His head rests sorrow his head rests sorrowfully in his left hand, a letter gripped rightly in his other. For a minute I thought you were like his his head like is he kept he's like holding no, he's his like, head in his yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other I was like what? <laughs> he's holding it's his a little head. bit of Hamlet for you. It means yeah. like this, like holding head and hands like I get it now, but the Alas poor York. Uh, it seems um, that Strahd has just received word well. that his mother, Queen uh, Ravenovia, has passed. She was never able to see her namesake. Gabriel Andrel stands off to the side in the doorway. He has delivered the news uh, to Strahd personally, and he hopes to provide some comfort to his lord by offering condolences on behalf of the Morning Lord. Strahd tolerates the Morning Lord's presence in the land and recognizes the power of the Morning Lord being... You you shouldn't kind of make the connection like Gabriel Andrel. Morning. This is this is Saint Andrew. Saint Andrew. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In case that wasn't uh, clear yet, mm -hmm. um, he tolerates the Morning Lord's presence in the land, recognizes the power of the Church, but is not devout himself and believes the Dawn Master's words are nonsense. Um, you only witness this conversation, um, and for those of you. You know, paying particular attention, definitely notice that there's a clear tension between the two. Um, Strahd eventually accepts an offer from Gabriel to take a walk down to the chapel and uh, leaves the room, which kind of leaves you to explore the study if you want. And we're bound to the study. Yes. Uh, Aranya's going to try to follow, but you, as you try to follow. It is kind of similar to the thick mist you see everywhere in Barovia. There's just no way through. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a look around the the room, see yeah. if there's anything that kind of sticks out. Make an investigation check. Okay. If it's any, like, Strahd's personal writings or anything. Uh, investigation. Uh, 14. Um, okay. Uh, two, 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 two. Um, mm -mm -mm. there is a portrait above the fireplace, uh, which depict King Barov and Queen uh, Ravenovia, uh, so Strahd's parents. Um, there is also, um, on his desk, small lockbox. Um, you also find a hidden door that leads to Oh, the. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Man, chapter two is a fucking long chapter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 
And you wanted to skip it, you dumb bitch. It's amping up. There's a yeah, door, it's and a, it, it's, it seems like a treasury of some sort. Um, see, resting on the floor in this smoke-filled room uh, is a closed chest surrounded by piles of gold, silver, and copper coins. Uh, fittings of the chest are, uh, and, and clawed feet of the chest are evidence of great workmanship. Uh, attached to the east wall are two torch sconces. Uh, and there lies a skeleton in broken plate armor against the wall. The skeleton's right hand is on its throat, and his left hand is holding a matching torch from the empty sconce. It's worrying. <laughs> Does it look like in this sort of treasury room mm -hmm. that there's anywhere that seems like really untouched and like almost abandoned rather than cared for as part of the treasury. Mm, this is going to be weird, but I'm mm -hmm. make an insight check. Yeah. No. And I will I will happily make an insight check. Is there anything on or near the skeleton that indicates who it is? Uh 22. Um yeah. The way this treasury looks in comparison with the skeleton that see that died in this position. Yeah. Um and the fact that there's this big chest with a bunch of gold and stuff, and there's not yeah. a speck of dust. Nothing. Yeah. It almost seems purposely put down in this way. Combining that with the fact that there's a skeleton that's seemingly choked to death, you get the sense that this might be a false treasury, where this is meant to bait robbers and whatnot in, and, mm -hmm. you know, kill them. kill them in way of choking, apparently. Uh, okay. Can I look at the lockbox? Yes, you can. Is it like... Uh, is it like a? Is it like do I have to pick it to open it? Uh, you would have to, yeah. Okay. Does it seem to be trapped? Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna try and pick it. As Kes goes to try and pick it, I kind of want to stop her. Oh, so shout shout out, Kes! No. What? This feels like this whole room is a trap. This looks placed. This is not a real treasure i don't think we should touch anything well, here the lockbox is on the desk lock box outside. It's, not, it's not in the treasure. oh sorry my bad my bad i misheard like, okay. this is like in the I... study where you guys started never mind i take it all back I <laughs> okay. misunderstood sorry okay I'm, I'm assuming i'm rolling for this uh yeah I'll yeah okay uh dirty 20. dirty 20. are you open yeah. the lockbox uh, what you see inside make a wisdom saving yay oh. I'm making so many of those today you're so wise I'm so wise um 22 yeah oh the temptation to silvery bob <laughs> why why would you do second. that to your girlfriend uh, for a split Not second. Jackson's girlfriend. Oh, Dygen, are you, you're still hitchhiking with her, right? I am, yes. So what you see in this lockbox is just, what Daigon sees specifically, is just a bunch of, you know, uh, some small trinkets and, and a couple of, yeah. of, of gold coins. What you see, um, Kes, for like a split second, is a vivid drawing of Elsinil choking you. Cute. <laughs> and you can see her like Yo, long like, fingers just like wrapping around your throat and you can just squeezing the air, the life out of you. You blink a couple of times and then that's gone. And that has been replaced by, you know, a handful of gold coins and some small Ooh. minor trinkets. But we can't take with us. You don't know? Well, maybe. You don't know. And the bookie down your life. Take things from the book, you take them to real life. <laughs> Wait, you confirmed if we die in the book, we die in real life? Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, is there any windows open? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Yo, is this Tron? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put the lockbox back. Okay. <laughs> Enough emotional trauma for one day. I'm, I'm good for now. Um, What else was there? That was pretty much it. That was pretty much it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You didn't get jump scared. Um, after you've had some time to explore the space, Strahd returns to the room and pauses, and he looks around. 
like through you, but he looks as if he recognizes that someone was there. He goes toward his desk and looks at the lockbox, picks it up and looks and sees the lock is picked, looks back, <laughs> puts it back down, goes to the treasury. Where his imaginary friends? Goes to the treasury and sees that everything is still there. And just kind of strange. Um, he then approaches you, Kes, and for a moment looks straight at you. Mm. And just kind of like walks towards you until he stands like face to face with you, looks you straight in the eyes. And then, just without saying anything, turns away. And he does this to everyone in the party. Uh oh. And then he goes to Brooks. And looks him in the eyes as well. And you can see him kind of twitch. And as he turns around, you kind of just hear a whisper in the back of your head. Your brother is quite useful. <gasps> oh, I'm fucking, I don't care if it's a dream or not, I start swinging, baby. Oh, yeah. As soon as Aranya as you, sees him move, as you begin they take out their to swing, too. the fire in the room snuffs out. Um, and darkness overtakes the study, and your world goes black. Mm. Escape from isolation of death was impossible. In many years, I learned that the brightest days cast the darkest of shadows. And you all return to Hachi, to Hachi room. Is my rapier out like it was in the yes. vision? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll just put that away. <laughs> Is it just Brooks that had it? Yeah. It just puts out it. I just saw Brooks going to swing, though. <laughs> so <laughs> they were like, oh, it's on? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Things? Enemies? Um, that was super weird. Mm. I didn't like that. I think we should be done for the day <laughs> with this book. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, not exactly like the books mum used to read me, you know what I mean? Yeah, so... I think there's more to this book than with. I mean, the more I'm reading it, the more tired I'm getting. I could probably do Maybe one more chapter for no. today. At this, but... point, yeah. at this point, Cass, you feel, you're exhausted. You feel yeah, yeah, like yeah. this is that, that that you don't have one more in you. This is it. Yeah, she's 100 percent lying. It's fine. Don't worry. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, making sure. Just making sure. Okay. I mean, I'll do uh, it. I don't care. No, 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 no. No, I don't no, think. No. I don't think it's worth doing it right now. I think tomorrow. We'll take it so is, is it not taking time. its toll on anyone else? It's just Kes because she's the one reading it? Kes is the one like actively reading it and kind of Yeah. Like, um, I guess we could. The way it works is Kes is using the item. But yeah. because you're all within a certain range of her, you all kind of get sucked in with her. Right, yeah. So she right. is the catalyst. So that's why it's taking a toll on her, not, not necessarily on you. The vessel. I mean, we yeah. could read more. Have someone else read and see if they get affected, but is it going to be worth it? This is enough for today. Oh, I think we can all do the break. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, you know, as you're traveling, uh, eventually, Babali Saga's hut reaches like the edge of town, and there's already like this group of guards. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Old. Yeah. We were told that you were bringing a bringing a house, so. Um, <laughs> Where did you park just, this thing? Yeah, I was about to get to that. Um, you've cleared out a bit of space next to this, you know, you get pressure from the from the west. Next to the west gate, just uh, on the outskirts or outside of town limits. We couldn't really make room inside town. Yeah, um, yeah. No worries. So if you just leave it there, lock it. I don't... Uh, we'll, we'll make sure I to will, keep an eye uh, on it from, out, from inside. Oh, Aslan, how do you, how do you, how do you <laughs> lock to... it? I'm going to try and uh, reverse park in, fuck up the angle a little bit, okay. and forward, like, kind of get, get oh, it right the second time, and then like, like, you know, like, knocking out one of the, like, pikes in the palisade. Great, 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 kind of grazing, forward grazing forward. like a tree slightly, I've been like, oh, no, too far, hang on, yeah. got... sorry, <laughs> yeah. first time, first time driver, first time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, that's that's fine, that's fine, up. good. I will think to, like, stop and, like, try and get back into, like... Um, uh, yeah. 
it stops moving. Um, and I will okay. put the stone in my bag. <laughs> in okay. my pocket. Actually, I'll put it in one of my coin pouches. All right. And then inside uh, of my. And like, you notice uh, uh, that as you kind of like leave the hut, once you leave the hut with the stone, it stops glowing, and you can see. The hut just kind of like becomes incapacitated. Like the legs, like sh the roots shoot into the ground, and it just sits. Cute. So you get the sense that this gem and the movement thing will only work if it's inside of it. Yo, automatic cars. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give the house a little. If you have to drive it, you. <laughs> you know what I mean. I will uh, give the house a little pat. And, uh, like... It's just a house. Done well. You don't want. It doesn't respond. It's just a house. I don't give a fuck. It's, just, it's like when you tap your he's car. He's humanizing but... it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah no, he's gonna give have it a name. <laughs> he's gonna name it in like this three. bad boy can fit so many evil hags in it. Yeah. yeah. This Not is when like in seven. It's like when people like like, uh, like fucking pedophile their rumbers and they're like, oh, the good boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pedophile. Well, yeah. Hag bonding. Pedophile. Yeah, it becomes like a yeah, it becomes like a like a Bond thing. It's really weird. Humans are fucking humans weird. Are bizarre. Oliver. I mean, yeah, humans can bond with anything. You can right. bond with volleyball. Right. Richard Hammond, um, Cola Wilson. Thank you. So yeah, as you you know, you're back you're back in uh, in Valaki. Uh, festival prep is uh, at an all time high. Oh, I forgot. I'm still so nervous. Banners are being prep. raised. Fake Yo, like festival. fake like paper suns are being. Hung up throughout, you know, on every lamp post, uh, and, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, the festival prep is in, in full effect, and you can see outside the tavern, uh, a rather large group of individuals has gathered. Um, <laughs> George, which you recognized, have seen <laughs> at some point, are all a part of, you know, the Raven Gang, for 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 lack of, uh, <laughs> for, you know. Raven of, of terms. We got um, the spider what, gang and the raven the gang. gang. Yep. Um, yeah, the group of West Coast, West Coast baby. Uh, Danica sees you and uh, we should talk. That's ominous. Is it that important that I can't wait? Well, I mean, we just kind of discussed our new findings about the Wachter House, and I figured I'd keep, get you up to speed as soon as possible, but. You have the shit to do, then by all means. Not really. I've got nothing better to do. It's been a bit of a long... It's been a weird day, if we'll put it that way. Right. Oh. But we can we can talk. I, I'm, I'm all it is. You know. Yeah. Well, I was just assuming that you know, we were off to bed soon anyway, and I'd rather have this talk now before the festival kicks off tomorrow. You know yes. what I mean? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, of course. Um... We've done some talking, and we fear that tomorrow, yes, you ruined the initial plans during the festival, but I fear that something is going to happen regardless. We would appreciate it. We understand that you have your own thing to do. But in all honesty, we all can only do so much, and we would appreciate it if... You'd be okay with extending your stay in Valaki one more day to make sh you know, keep an eye on things during the festival and if things pop up, you know, help us with whatever problem may occur. You'll be rewarded, of course, for your time and effort, but we would appreciate it. Um, cool. We understand that you've, you've already done a lot and and you don't owe us anything. But, you know, if you say no, that's fine too. But um, I know that we could really, really, really do with your help. Just in case. I mean, uh, yeah. Of course. I, uh, as long as you lot are fine with that, I mean. I'm I still in Kess at this point. So I'll just, in Kess, your head, you hear, I think we should take a lead from Brooks because again the whole timeline of our being here is kind of down to him in my opinion Brooks what hmm? do you think what what do you think are you happy for us to stay in Velaki for the festival and help out 
Or would you like us to keep moving? I don't know. Do you want to think on it? Helpful. (laughs) Does Brooks look more... Yeah. Yeah, just yes. Anyone? It doesn't matter yeah. what the adjective is. The answer yeah. is yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, can I, something's wrong with this man. More, yeah. more than usual is what I. Yeah. Is more as well. Like, he has looked stressed for about I, three I mean, days. All looks stressed, but like has you know stressed. What? And there's like you know there's They're like and they're oh falling dear God. Apart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, how many days ago was it that Brooks saw his three? Well, and again, we don't know, but there's what Brooks just heard in that last chapter, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like like three days ago, things were... Uh... The, 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 Brooks has got worse within the last three days. Okay. I will just so right, look well, at him. Um, mm-hmm. In that case, if you had an out tomorrow, then we'll have to fend on our own. That's, that's all right. We'll just we'll be out and about early tomorrow because of the festival and things and getting ourselves in position. Um, I'll I'll leave some food out for you all and. Um, well, I mean, you've been lovely guests and. Uh, well, if town still stands after tomorrow and you guys do come back or something, then uh, you're always welcome to stay. We appreciate it. And he uh, gets up, seemingly a, a little disappointed, uh, but in the same like breath, also understanding, but a bit disappointed. Uh, and he just kind of goes back to behind the bar and uh, calls a couple more people around him and begins to discuss things with them and continues planning tomorrow. What's our next move then? I'd assume heading to the next. The we have the yeah the amulet, I guess. What's what's the clue for the amulet? <laughs> what's going on? Oh. My brain is. Time to look through my notes. Amulet is uh, somewhere in Castle Ravenloft. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the one uh, in the name. Yeah. Yes. We know that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, is Castle Ravenloft really our next toy? God, the fucking so damn it. Oh, yeah, it is, baby. Is. Son of bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the next stop would indeed be Castle Ravenloft, guys. Ravenloft. Mm, that's really yeah. weird. It's really weird that the DM we got sent about Castle Ravenloft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think we probably should get these best night's sleep as we can then. Yeah. That's where we're so. going. <laughs> it's. I think we're going to be in for one I think the goal is to try and get into the castle, just the crypt, like find this before anyone's alerted to our presence, see if we can get the amulet before any, actually dealing with any entity in the castle. But of course, we all know how it's gonna go. I'm but sure that, be a lot <laughs> that's the, that was the best case scenario. Yes, I have a feeling it might be having to go to almost a plan D. <laughs> we'll do what we can. Indeed. Um, Aranya is gonna go straight to their room. Mm-hmm. Uh, foregoing food, they'll just eat. A ration. Um, they're gonna trance like almost immediately, mm-hmm. um, so that Little they can spend the sleep. first four hours of like pre-morning. <laughs> I guess uh, they can work with their alchemist supplies and see uh... if, by any chance, they can either create some basic ass poison or extend like the how long the oil lasts or something like they just want to do a little something with the oil if they can or just make 
a basic ass poison for their dagger. Or uh, that oil definitely not something you can fuck with. Um, right. But yeah, I'll say vial of poison. Okay. Uh, Jax would they like to tinker time. To you can figure that out with Soko at some point, but he yeah. specified yeah. that if we get downtime, he'd like to tinker. That's fine. Um, in that case, if there's not much else you guys want to do with cool. your evening, you guys can all go to bed. I will want to talk to Brooks at some point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably as he's... Yeah. Um, I, I think me too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Group us want to have a little group chat with Brooks. I think group, I think... group intervention. <laughs> but like, are they are they waiting like one after the other, or is it like a group intervention? Let Kes just kind of reaches over and takes his hand, and then just kind of looks around at the others a little bit. I no. Everyone I... looking like what the fuck is Kes doing? Yeah. <laughs> no, Sorry, I. Laura. <laughs> we'll just try like. Oh, like I'll I'll put a hand on Brooks's shoulder, and just be like you know you can talk to us, friend. Don't let this burden be on just you. The entire situation is fucked. I think we already knew that. Yeah. It's not a statement, but yes. Mm. Very. It's not a pleasant place to be. You know, we all see weird shit. Yeah. And... I don't know if I want to go in that book anymore. Why? I am not the most magically adept. But there is more to that book than just memories. I had a similar feeling, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's just the eeriness of this place, or... He taunted me. What? Who? Strahd? Strahd whispered to me in the back of my head as he looked at me. And told me that my brother was very useful. Which means that whatever part of him is in that book, or however that book is connected to him, has recent memories. I'll step outside of Kess's body and say, or, or no. No, was that the Strad police? John's broken up. Like, as I step outside of Kess's body, to say, or it knows who's reading it. I mean, clearly. I mean. Regardless, From... it clearly has some connection to him, and that's not that's a good not sign. Good. We don't know if we can... I might not have the... kind of training that Jax has, but from what I experienced, at least, it seemed to kind of... Uh, connect in some kind of... almost psychic way. It was... It wasn't memories, and it wasn't just a book. It, it kind of had another connection to, especially given how exhausting it was to just figure it out. It connects to Strahd in some way. I think Brooks is right, so I think we can... Present Strahd as well. Look at that. You should have declined all cookies when you opened it. That's the issue. Yeah, <laughs> fucking mm. that. My adverts are <laughs> fucked now. Um, I... It's table um, because it'd be good to have, but make fuck. Um, Lazarin. <sighs> oh God, here we go. Roll a dice and tell me a number. <laughs> yeah, no specific thing. Just roll a dice. I'm, I'm trying to think the best way to do this. Um, I should make it inside again because my highest numbers smiley face. Sure. Okay. Whoa, let's go! <laughs> Great convincing well, joke, boy! While Koiba rolls insight, Dagon's only spoke about Brooks's vision to Kess, right? Correct. Mm. Did Dagon comment on it when she was in Brooks's head? I can't remember. 
Uh, I don't believe I did, but I believe oh, immediately Bryce after needs. I was a bit more like like shoulder cuts. I, I, I was acting in a like consoling way, but I didn't say anything with words. So, so Burke's reasonably. So, has so you 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 can reasonably bit. guess that I shared that I or at least I have an inkling that you saw something that unnerved you. You don't know if I saw all of it or if I but. Yeah. I got something. He looks happy. Is it a good roll? Twenty-eight. Shit. Okay, so what you get from your short time in this book is that it definitely is, you know, a, a journal retelling Strahd's life. Um, but you get the sense that the imagery and, and the people that you see and interact with, mainly Strahd, are very much, you know, pieces of recorded history. But... Um, in the same way that everything in this realm seems to lash out at people that, that aren't willing to fall in line with Strahd, so does this book. Um, it seems to be that whatever Brooks may have seen or heard, that it was just um, the book or this 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 iteration of Strahd kind of feeling one of Brooks's fears and just kind of jumping on that for for like a brief moment. Is it but you also like get the sense that it is purely it's purely just that. It is just trying to trying get to scare you, trying to get a reaction. Oh, okay. Trying to manipulate through fear. Because that is all it can do since it is just a book in that sense. See a lasman like sort of thinking for a second. Um, for a moment, and just sort of wrapping it up. Oh, I don't know, it just feels like everything here is connected to Strahd and has some sort of protection to keep you fearful of Strahd. Or at least wrapped up in his mysticism. Of his strength. I think this book is an exception to that. That's a good and, point. I don't know, I... I'm not, you know, an expert on this, but just gut feeling says that maybe this isn't connected. Maybe this is just the book latching onto, you know, you're very clearly stressed about this. And it's on the forefront of your mind. If there is a low level psychic energy to this, maybe it read into that. And it's poking you, trying to keep you to either stay away or to act irrationally. But we don't, I don't know. It could be wrong i don't understand this magic at all but it's what it seems it seems like it's not real and it's gonna try and make us run away make us stop or so turn it, off you're saying together. it's not actually no. Strahd, exactly. No, it's like his but presence. Like a or... manifestation of, yeah, of the his, book. Yeah, it feels like there's definitely power, like a protection spell, almost. Which would it, imply it, there's something worth hiding in it. Definitely. If it wants to keep you out. But it feels like the deeper we read, the stronger these protections are going to get. Naturally. I mean... We don't know how this book works, if we're all now connected to it, because we've seen one vision and we're all in. And obviously, if Brooks doesn't want to see any vision, it's end this book anymore. I don't know how we can do that if he's now connected to it. I don't know if that connection is purely just a coincidence and it just is because we were the closest people by, or if it's. I think in the more morning... than that. We need to get Jax to identify this properly. Yes. Yeah. I worry that there's not going to be much to see in identifying it. I feel like there might be more protections to this than we know. I worry. There's a lot here that doesn't make sense. But it's worth doing. Fucking... Oh. We were supposed to find this. We there's nothing to be gained from it then. Morag wanted us to find this. This was one of the things we were supposed to find. There has to be some value in it. 
other than just winding my fucking head in. Well, the basic principle of know thy enemy for an advantage, even if maybe it won't give us anything tangible, but we can get in his head when we deal with him. We can understand how he makes decisions, how he thinks, what his drives are. Like, that's still not nothing, even if that's all we get from this. Yeah. There's a lot there. There's a lot. As I said, I don't. I just don't know how it all connects. That's what's driving me mad. It's just. You ever feel like you're missing something? I mean, so far to me, the book just reads like propaganda. Like, oh, feel bad for Strahd. Look how hard his life was, and I don't really mm. care. But yeah, we're I mean, in sure, the early it, stages. It's so. just kind of his history. But to be honest, but it was hidden. It was protected, and well, because it still it makes him, it makes him well, for lack of wait, a better real, word, real, human. Real it shows quick. emotion. He's trying to be this larger than life, all powerful, immortal entity. You can't. What if you want to hide that past? That the crib was an illusion, mm -hmm. but what if it's not a fucking made-up illusion? I don't follow. No, me neither. No My illusion implies an illusion, that it's an illusion not real. based on truth. Yeah, yeah based that on reality. Scene has happened, but what that he that he was in the hag's house as an infant, yeah. like the hag's the hag's his mom. His mom didn't actually die. We killed her. Either way, she's dead. This whole thing fucked. Dead. Yeah, and I don't know if anything in this book is that. None of us know if anything in this book is true. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. I feel like it's still. Oh well, I mean. I don't know if I can speak for anyone else, but I see. I feel like I've gained something from reading it, knowledge or otherwise. Mm -hmm. mm. It, it, it feels like it was written in some kind of peak of ego. You know, I want to tell my side of the story because everyone else is telling it wrong. And yeah. in doing so, I accidentally I'm... wrote down something that is perhaps dangerous for people to know, so you shroud it in some kind of self-defensive fear-mongering magic to try and scare people off as they get too close to it. Getting worse uh, and Doc, worse. to this point, am I aware now that I could summon an Unseen Servant once a day? Like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got that from the book, right? Yeah, so like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but uh, I don't know. I feel like I've been bestowed some kind of magic from reading the book. I feel like we'd be missing out cool. if we weren't. I me too. Go a bit deeper. I felt a a different kind of magic than the one I'm used to. Did it feel like? It's gonna be a weird question, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But obviously, where my magic comes from, you know, sort of being devout and holy, and it is the more you know, that holy magic, did this feel almost wrong and, like, dark and not evil, but you know what I mean? Did it just feel like a wrong magic? Did it just feel like arcane? Um... Definitely feels strange. Does it feel, does it feel icky? <laughs> not necessarily icky. Um... Yeah. Like, yeah, the source of the magic is gained like the things that some of you can do now very much came from this book which makes the source a bit questionable but the magic itself the power itself doesn't feel okay corrupt in any way right yeah okay that's cool just i it's weird it's a weird feeling aranya has gone upstairs at this point right yeah she's, yes yeah, yeah. yeah. They've kind yeah of they're, up right away. they're trancing they are trancing. They went straight up. Mm -hmm. While we're all here. Well, Jax is tinkering, but he's old. He'll forget anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like around you. They're not bad people. They're useful to have around. 
but I want to kill gets... them. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets to a point where we can grab urine and get the fuck out of here without having to fight Strahd, I've got no stake in this shit. That said, I'm going to find Rahad and I'm going to pull out his throat. Fair enough. I'm on the same page, personally. I want to help these people. This seems like someone who should be dealt with eventually, but I don't know if we're those people. If we can get your brother and get out, I'm on board. Is there a chance that whatever might go down at the festival, we might be able to... I don't know. Maybe there's someone there that knows something about Castle Ravenloft, or someone we can capture Peace. or question yeah, or something. If, if if we can, because otherwise we're going in pretty blind. And how hard was the house to control the last run? He seemed pretty <laughs> responsive. But do you do you feel like it's tied to you, or do you feel like anyone could do it? I feel like as long as you got the stone, that's more of a thing to control it. I'm okay with staying for the festival. If we think some use will come out of it. And then to make up that time, I will keep the house going while someone else rests and we'll do it that way. Well, we've got a couple of people who barely even need to sleep, for example. I so don't we, need to sleep know, at all. Regardless of... Well, I don't think you can hold the... I can't. The thing, so. you could just Wait, me and right? Aranya but Could you puppet out. someone while they were asleep? That sounds like it might be or, really work. Or, what happens... I mean, You absorb I have, the stone. I have a thing I can replace. What if I just absorb the ability to control the house? And then I can just do it. No, but then only you can. Only you, yeah, you will lose the. That would be a problem. This you lose the true. car key situation I mean, of this. And... I lose the keys. <laughs> like, not to influence you guys too much, but I mean, Dagon could very easily just pop into a body, body for 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 a yeah. day. We so, could. Yeah. We could get my body back out if I need to hold things easy. again. I mean, there's that. There is a possibility. That's as well. so bizarre that you can do that, but you're not alive. <laughs> We've we've done to, some yeah. Dutch and I had some uh, tinkering with the rules <laughs> to allow me to do this repeatedly, but it's only because it's my body. Like any other corpse, once I puppet it once, it's dead to me. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Very pun intended. Well, I think that's the way we make up the time. Agreed. As long as yeah, I can have. I can do that. As long as everyone gets okay. the if I'm being time they need. Totally honest, and not I'm not going soft or anything, but man, they gave us the fucking sword that means more than anything in the world to them, and to just sort of fuck off with it and leave them to I, I guess yeah. God knows what feels pretty bad. If anything, I, I feel like maybe we have some responsibility to help defend whatever might happen using the sun. I mean, it would be it would be pretty I, cool. I also I don't know I have a weird vested interest in this. Town. It just I... seems. It just seems fair, you know. I don't think these are bad people. I have no investment in them at all. But I can't exactly sneak off without the rest of you. <laughs> we want you to sneak off anyway, mate. Don't want to be, um, you know, fighting your corpse later. That's, so. that's some fun gag. Yeah, that'd be pretty much stuff. Would rip Brooks, you apart. A year ago, exactly. We definitely snuck off without all of you. I mean, Kess is literally to... holding his hand at the moment, so even if he goes yeah. invisible. Yeah. Yep. You came here to save your brother, not join him. Yeah. yeah. We'll get there. Also a note as well, just not to dissuade anyone or anything, but this Rahadin, I got a weird sort of sense when we were with him. He seems a sort of monster onto himself as it's Strahd's second. Oh, he, he, he dies. I know, but I mean, like, we can't go in uh, blind sure think not... we're going to kill him. He's not some pushover <laughs> from the sounds of it. He's the... not one to be underestimated. Definitely. He's cunning. 
Does the Rahadan fight take place in a big ballroom and we have to do dance moves? And then yeah. when we go and fight Strahd, he, he has a big floating sword with a soul in Come it. Come on, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Rid my arsehole of these bears. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, then it sounds like we have a plan. Stay for the festival in case they need our assistance. Mm -hmm. If not, we can use it as a day to gather information on the castle. And then I can make up the time by getting our new mode of transportation working overnight. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um... I'll wait to get my body out of the vessel though till after the festival just in but, case. Well I think yeah. good night's rest is in order. I don't know about yeah. you guys but Thanks. Yeah I'm uh, real I'm yeah. real tired. All head to bed. Yeah. Yep. And um, you know, you're all long and you level Let Oh shit fucking oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You know what's funny? Doing I the rolls now. That I was Max, missing, I'm level eight now. I was missing like... a ranger spell. <laughs> Oh, really? So I would just magically gained three spells, and now I'm leveling up. <laughs> oh, now I have to think about fucking. Oh, fuck's so, sake! Every time I, I have to pick what class I level up. Y'all will be Same. a level higher and some pog new stuff. A level nine. What Hell do yeah. I get? Yeah, I'm um, just doing cleric level up. Yeah, yeah, takes a third oh. class. I know that we roll a... ones on hit die. I know that we've got a. Do we uh, roll a one on hit die? And just yes. take whatever. I know cool, we've got from a... one to a four. Let's go. That's Pog. I know we've got a hard cut off, yeah. so I'm not going to be like, uh, Mr. DM, I want to RP this whole thing. But uh, 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 Brooks go for a walk before sleep, smile. That's and he's going to explicitly tell the group that he's going for a walk rather than sneaking off. Okay. Can I, I like send to... Onu with him? <laughs> are you asking, or are you just like sending Onu? No, I'll just be like, yeah, take the dog. <laughs> take the dog. I'll take the dog. For a walk. I give that dog more attention than it's had in weeks. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I oh. hope you guys enjoyed. Oh. Sorry for the late start, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of... My man was getting drunkies. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> not mad about the late start, I'm mad at Koi, but the Koiba's tone with me when he told me to come over here was absolutely disrespectful. <laughs> okay? What a bitch, that Koiba guy. By the way, Dutch, I, I have, have a request. Have request? If, if we're down to raid, Fuck. I found a, a new TTRPG channel. I'd love to raid Sorry. if people are cool with it. Uh, yeah, they do. No, they do systems D and D, but also other systems. And my friend Amber, who if anyone who played in the Blood Hunt tournaments, you know Amber. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They're one mm -hmm. of they're one of the players on it. The channel's called Neon Lights Roleplay, and they're live right now. Lights Roleplay. Yeah, I'm down to. If you're down, no, you don't have to. Work. No pressure. No, that's all good. Uh, we can do that. We can do that. Let me just uh, put that boot up. Oh God. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's a really hard choice for me at this fucking level. Fuck. I'm Ooh. probably just taking the stack. Um, yeah. It. Fucking go say hi to them. Uh, let them know that we sent you and all that good stuff. And we'll be back next week for uh, some more uh, fucking shenanigans. Some more. Dude. It's a good time. I'm having a, a lot of fun with these uh, last few sessions. Like just the setting and stuff. I, I find really yeah. cool. Being able to How dare you, spin you son on, of a bitch. Uh, a pretty iconic D&D uh, story is very cool, too. Um, I'm I not can. really doing discourses while I'm here because it's just, I'm so fucking busy with this it's, shit it's right now, man. It's challenging, yeah. Uh, Yo, I'll run the discourse. If you want, <laughs> I mean, if you want. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Guys, thanks for playing, as always, and uh, catch y'all next time. Peace out, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, I smacked my mic. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do Good that. Job.